the bully king. Yes, yes, yes. Greetings, man. Then what's happening? What's going on? Yes, bro. Yo, yo, what's good, man? What's good, come, man? Come on. What's this episode? Was it 78? 78. Yeah. 78. Come on. To get me, we're moving like... We, we passed middle age now, you get me? We're on the latter years. Boy, boy. Jeez. But yeah, I just wanted to big up all of the fans, all the people that are listening to us. Thank you. Episode 78. I know we should be probably on about 100 and something by now. But thank you for being with us, you get me? So, yeah. Street. Big we up got, your man. status. And if you're listening to it and your friends not listening to it, then don't be selfish. Share, like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Yeah, man. Tell a friend just to press play. You know the ones there. Just get our, get our listens up. Get our likes. All of that. All of that. And yeah? The algorithms. The algorithms. But, man, them, how's your week's been? Yeah. Oh, good, man. Oh, good. I, I think I think the snow gods heard my moan last week. I yeah? <laughs> fully punished me. They're like, oh, so you're going to moan about us, are you? <laughs> Three days solid snow. Three days solid, you know. No, like, non stop. It's horrible. It's like, how, how bad was it? How bad was it for you? It's bad. It's like, it's, it's non stop. Oh, yeah. The things I haven't got nowhere, so it's minor, but it's just like non stop for the whole day. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All, all day yesterday was just. On it, in it. What? Like, what, like, what huh? Go on, no, say go on. No, and I, I built my very first snowman, man. Yeah. Like, or should I say, snowwoman? It was, it was a snowman at first, <laughs> but the other ones, like, I thought I'm not going to use any of my good cats or like stuff. So let me, <laughs> let me improvise, <laughs> in it. So I found, I found a dead mop head in it. Like, I just stuck it in there, put the hair to the side, and called her Stella, in it. I think the is you jack one of your you missus hats and just put it on the top. No, 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 no. Straight wall, boy. I won't be here today. That's <laughs> so did, did you say that's your first ever snowman? Yeah, I, I, I don't oh, think I've really ever good. built a snowman before, you know. Uh, Are you serious? Second, yeah. That's, that's my second one I've done. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh you I did thought... one as well, girl? Yeah, back in the day, like, um, I can't what year it was, but it snowed on a Mazza. Like, and, and it was like, yeah, our garden, this is when I was in West London, our garden was this like it was thick of snow so it was just massive snowman massive one and did you make one this time as well yeah, yeah, yeah. okay yeah. rich did you make a snowman no yeah no <laughs> we're that. so angry <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no 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 but have you not got enough snow i don't think it's still as much in london though that's the thing no no it's not, it's not as much but it, it, it's, it's enough snow but anyway oh, it's minus I'll get one snow everywhere man it's From minus swings, one shed rooftops everywhere yeah, it's no. everywhere, man. I'm gonna be real. I, I didn't play in the snow, bro. <laughs> okay, the question is: Did you allow your children to play in the snow? Um, that's a proper I'm... no. You know that. That's a no. No, no. If I'm real, if I'm real, they weren't here. They weren't here. So oh. I don't know if they did. I don't know if they did. I'll be real. <laughs> like, they just came back today. I, I don't know if they did. I I didn't. I know I didn't. Oh. Yeah, I purposely didn't. I went walking today, you know. Like that was actually alright. I thought it was gonna be a bit blitz. I didn't know if I could do it in the snow, but it was alright. And obviously on Sunday, I started walking, it started snowing and that. But yeah, was that? Yeah, I probably slid all the way to Sainsbury's, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah, that's what, I, it's, the, it's the afraid to be able to drop. Like, you know that same thing we were talking about the other day where like, you just feel like anytime you're going to buckle, anytime you slip, you think maybe someone watching with like a camera. <laughs> on the snow, it's like even worse because it's like you're, you're slipping. You're oh, slipping. your legs are so tense, you know, oh, like man. so tense. I remember when I was when I was, when I was uh, at Union Coventry. Yeah, it's like a little hill, bro. The way man was, bro, I was falling for like five minutes, bro. <laughs> man was all the way down the hill. I was like this, just trying to keep balance, bro. Oh, and, man. Is, and it actually feels like it's five minutes as well. You're thinking, trust bro. me, <laughs> just fall already. You know what I mean? Oh gosh, no, right. mate. Love. Well, well, we're gonna start a weekly roundup. But before I start a weekly roundup. Um, Kel, thanks for the bank transfer. Um, I bought my Magum, my Maggie. So thanks for the bank transfer. Oh, right. well, what was that for? What was the, what was that about? Go on. No, no, it was, the, the, it, uh, it was just a little bet. Me and me and the old man we, had last week. We, 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 I, was there a virtual handshake? I don't know. I don't even know virtual handshakes. Still. I don't know, bro. You gave me the you 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 put the cash up, so I just assumed. Or, or was it you didn't transfer it? Did I just spend my own money on this? No, no, I transferred it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah. Yeah, that was just a little thing last week. I'm not gonna lie, Kel. The fans were saying, Oi, Kel was emotional last week, bruv. Is he all right? I said, What do you mean? He goes, Nah, he was hella angry, bruv. Just he just wasn't letting up, bruv. I said, Oh, I don't know, bruv. Nah, Great man. war, man. It was when, it comes, when, it comes, when it comes to Batman and then team there, bruv, you know, I've got his back. He knows this, man. 
Kel, it was Batman. It was the twist film. Oh, yeah, no. Like, I just think it was like, you know the ones there, like, Kel, the sky is blue. The sky is blue, man. It's not blue. <laughs> it's the reflection of the sea. It's the reflection of the sea. I'll take it. I'll cool, take it. man. Oh, yes. All right, cool. Let's start with the weekly roundup. All right, guys. Not sure if any of you seen the news today. Um, you know we stopped trying to talk about the COVID thing because it's just there. It's out here. But some new rules came into, I guess, law today. Or well, they were spoken in the House of Commons, and I'm sure it's coming to law. Yeah, I think it's effective Monday. Yeah, effective. So basically, we've now got the COVID quarantine hotels. So we spoke about them before in the sense of that when you come back from holiday, they're going to make you quarantine in these hotels as opposed to going back into your house and not quarantining. Um and they're saying that the cost of these hotels can be up to a total of £1,750. Straight. Yeah. And th- uh, this is the bit that gets me. I'm not really sure this whole thing yet. It says, basically, if you flout the rules, you can get a 10K fine. And they're now threatening people with 10 years in prison. Okay. The prison thing is never going to happen. <laughs> Why, though? No, no, no. Brother, like, I, I'm, I'm... Look... I get it. We should have done all this thing from the beginning, yeah? Charging a man 1750 to stay in, I don't know, a bed and breakfast or wh- whatever it is, yeah? Travel lodge, whatever. There are other hotels, whatever brand. I don't know what the hotels are, yeah? It's a bit of a liberty. But then to say that you're going to give a man 10 years in prison, like, come on, that's like... Come on, the years already started off bad and you want, you just want to ruin people's life. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> so who are you in for? Boy, man, quarantine, innit? <laughs> I'm in Cardian quarantine, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. So what, did you, you have the Rona? I didn't even have the Rona, you know. When I left the other country, I had to take a test, but they just threw me in prison. Uh, it's, it's, it's nonsense, bro. It's nonsense. <laughs> but I think, what I do think is, I only think it is from, if you come from the 33, what they class as the red countries. So that is countries which includes... Um, United Arab Emirates. And then to be honest, most of these countries are from South America and also yeah. Africa. Yeah. So they've got like Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, Guyana. Then they've got countries like and Argentina. They've got African countries like Angola, Cap Verde, um, Lesotho, Maui, Mauritius, Mozambique, Namibia, Rwanda, South Africa. And I'm thinking... I didn't know that Corona was like live like that in Africa. It's live like that. I think oh. the death rate is lower than anywhere else in the world, but it, people are still getting COVID. Right? Okay. So, yeah, people are still getting it. The death rate is lower than in Europe. In America. I, I, just think, I just think it is because, as mentioned last week, I think that the South, the South African strain is the strain of, um, of the virus that's out there compared to what is in Europe. Hmm. Oh, by the way, do you remember we spoke about the fact that last week Tottenham was going through that little thing where they were testing oh. us to see if we had a South African? I've got my negative, baby. I haven't got oh, it. Woo! No South African <laughs> variant. <laughs> <laughs> they were going in deep, yeah? Yeah, yeah. They were knocking on my door talking about, hey, uh, they, the woman didn't even, like, she, she didn't even hand me the test. She threw it in the front yard. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah she threw it in the front yard. Like, as well, cool. yeah. <laughs> so you do it yourself, yeah. The nose, yeah, yeah, the... yeah. You do the back of your throat a couple of times in your nose. It's the same because I got to do the rapid test for work and that. I just I'm used to it now, isn't it? Hmm. And then I got the text message Friday saying, "Yeah, you're good." Oh yeah, so yeah, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I'm not. For me, it just seems a bit much. Seventeen fifty for a hotel, ten years in prison, ten k fine. I almost feel like the government are just trying to claw back this kind of. Um, What's that money they've been giving people when they don't have jobs? Furlough. Furlough money. I just feel like... Mm. I mean, I even read a story. I don't know if this is real facts or just a story I read on Facebook that, you know, like you live in halls and mm. like you might have a shared, a communal co- common room or something. Yeah. So apparently there was more than like 15 or 16 of them in their communal common room. So they tried to go and find them. The police tried to go in and find them all 800 pounds. I'm okay. like, you paid nine grand for UD. You're do, basically doing open university. Like, allow them in it. Let them live. They're not allowed to go nowhere. Yeah, it's true. Come on, man. We're, we're paying to be prisoners. But yeah, anyway, enough of the COVID stuff. It gets a bit depressing. And they said that the coronavirus 
aka the Chinese virus, what Trump said or whatever it was, may not have started in Wuhan after all. And they think that it started in different places around China, but Wuhan was just where it was kind of heavy populated. And mm. they don't believe that it started in a factory, not factory, like um, they don't think they made it. So they're okay. Going to so you don't think it was a man-made disease? Yeah, they, that's what they said. And they don't believe it also it came from a bat. So I don't know. Oh, yeah, I remember the bat story. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. It was like a lifetime ago. Yeah, like, like a Batman thing, yeah? Yeah, it's yeah. trying to be Batman. Is that how it works? Is that how it works? Is that how it works? Get, don't, go, don't get me started, you know. I don't know. Is that how it works? I know Spider Man, no. you get bit by the spider. <laughs> Batman, do you get bit by the bat? No, he didn't get bit by a bat. No, don't, I don't want to go to the back to a Batman right now, all right? All right, cool. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Turn into a cave of bats. Mud, mud, mud. All right. Um, did any of you lot see the story about the. I want to say young woman. Apparently, she's not even a young woman. She's a big woman, you know. Um, the one who was doing her hair and she was trying to slip back and all the rest of it. And she didn't have like a holding spray. So she ended up putting like some glue spray on her hair. Gorilla, gorilla, gorilla glue. glue. Gorilla the, strong, glue. the strongest of glues, you know. The strongest. <laughs> like, not even like a, a normal Tesco's 199 super glue, bro. Gorilla. It's called gorilla for a reason, you know. Bro. So she, she, the she, ultimate. she sprayed gorilla glue on her head. And then basically her hair got stuck to her scalp. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. No, but but the thing is, right? Like you run out of hairspray. Oh, let me put on the gorilla glue. Like, what is your purpose in life? Yeah, I, I think she's like, a, she, she's a bit of a donut, to be honest. Like, I, I, for me, that's I mad. She, I think she's going to go viral. You know, I think she knew what she was doing. She knew because why? Yeah, like she's recording it, and I don't know, bro. Like, where are you but going? Apparently, apart, apart, she's raised a lot of money. You know, people have donated like. I can't remember it was 40k or something like that, but she's got money now, bro. Yeah, I hope she's got money. And, she, I, and she's got the blue tick. She's been verified. I swear I saw somewhere like Beyonce's people are going to help her out as well or something like that. Like her hairstylist or whatever. Like, I swear I saw that on some thumbnail. She's oh, going yeah. to she gonna get that wig with that, that, that Brazilian hair straight from the Brazilian kids. <laughs> <laughs> But but the, but the but the thing is right. She was I saw the video clip and she was saying she's washed her hair fifteen times and it's not moving. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. no, she demonstrated it. She, she demonstrated it. Soap on everything. It just can't, it just slicks. It comes off slick. Bro, she's not even. She can't even cut her hair off. I'm telling you now, she's gonna have. Well, at least she's got a permanent hairstyle, isn't it? Yeah, like I, think, some, I think she went hospital or something. She had to go hospital or something for it. Some Ken Barbie doll texture now, isn't it? Just, uh, just... I, mean, I know. Do you know what? It is. Um, I know a lot of people do a lot of stuff for to to get on um to get a bit of social media, yeah, trust but me. but that is an extreme. That isn't. It's just like is that necessary? No. Nah. Sounds like something that that would be like in in Jackass or something, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. You know, what, like I, a prank that someone does. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, that's actually a good name, Jackass. That's what she is. She's a Jackass. So, what are we, what are we doing? We're giving her Jackass of the Week. Straight. No, definitely. 100%. Right. I don't know her name, but babes, you get Jackass of the Week. Of the year <laughs> already. Straight yeah. of the year. Just these new made up things now, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> don't yeah. I don't know. Jackass it, of the Week. Let's see who's going to be Jackass of the Week next week. Do you know what I mean? Let's see. <laughs> I don't know. There's crazy times right now. It's crazy times, man. Um, a few weeks ago, um, our girl's easy emails, and I always call her our girl because, like, we want her to be our yeah, girl. Yeah, uh, she, we, we respect Zizi. You get me? She's local. <laughs> um, she had an interview with the artist Angel. Yeah. Do you lot ever, do you lot get to watch the interview on? The Zizi Mo yeah. one? Yeah, 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 I watched it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what were your thoughts on it, man? I know it's Merv didn't say yeah, so I just thought I just I just thought I tried it in it. No, it is. I wasn't even gonna say nothing, and I looked, and Merv's lip went. I, did, I said, I, I just went no. <laughs> I saw Merv's lip twitch. Do, do you know what? From what I watched of it, she was. I think she was very overwhelmed, especially again. It's just like you're home every day, listening to music that you love, and and you listening to obviously angels singing his sweet, sweet, sweet lullabies and. And he's, you know, it was just like, oh yeah, I love this song. I love his music. To see the person in front of you is like, oh wow, here he's here. You know, it's, I know she, she made a, 
she mentioned that her boyfriend, ex boyfriend, looked exactly like him. Mm. So obviously, and he was in America. And all, all AJ had to say was, "Cut the cameras." That's all he had to say. Cut the cameras. <laughs> That's all he had to say, bro. And why is that? Boy, I ain't say nothing. But all <laughs> they say was just cut the cameras, bro. And then yeah, yeah. No, ZZ, 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 it on. ZZ does move. ZZ was moving. You know, like I think Zizi, certain times she's moving a bit flirtatious, and she tr- she does that thing where she kind of no, but she was actually nervous. No, that's time. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Where this time, it was a little bit like, oh, I I I don't even think I can do that whole. Let me try and be flirtatious with you because yeah. I don't think I can handle it. Yeah, because he threw at her like she she goes oh like do you have any questions for me? Like she was just, he was just straight in there like what's your favorite sex position like, straight? Yeah, Zizi didn't know what to, she, she didn't know what hit her. Yeah, yeah. She didn't know what, hit her. Like, what? Yeah. Yeah, no, it was, I thought it was a good interview. Um, mm. It's also good because obviously we haven't really heard from Angel in a like, while. A lot, in a while, yeah. it's been a while for he's been he's been around for a while, man. Angel, mm-hmm. a long time, man. Mm. Yeah, no, I've got I've got a lot of respect. It's, it's, it's one of those um, things that, like he said, he doesn't get celebrated within our culture at all. Yeah. And I think he should. I think he should, man. He's talented. He's got he's got a good voice, good music. You know yeah. what I mean? His little brothers in the um, Western. Like, mm. I didn't even know that. I can't even lie. Just, I, I, he does look even, just like Angel. Yeah. I don't even know who he is. Right, <laughs> yeah. serious? I, just, I don't know who he is, man. There you go, man. Yeah, yeah. That's mad. Nah, Angel. Yeah. Like I've, I've been, like I've been in circles with Angel and that. He's mad cool. Like he's mad. Cool. What kind of, what kind of circles, dude? No, no. I just as in, as in, like. <laughs> um, 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 um. No, no, no. We went to a concert. We was at T Pay concert, and then we was like hanging out after the concert. It's not that. Like I just, I just don't want to try and. Do you know what I mean, I'm not trying to drop it like that. Do you know what I mean, <laughs> Kel just knows that he's just being funny. <laughs> he, know, he knows exactly when I'm an angel, but he's just trying to be funny. Like, oh he God. thinks I'm going to do a Miles and I'll say, like, oh, yeah, um, Raheem Sterling knows me or whatever. Then people, like, he's going to go to Raheem. He's like, no, I don't know him. It's not like that. <laughs> I'm not bred in him. I just say, we met a couple of times or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Uh, like, cool, cool. But yeah, no, no, I think Angel's hard. Um, pause. And a lot of his albums, like, he does a lot of them kind of throwback ones where he uses a lot of kind of like old. Um, Beats and old songs and stuff that he kind of remasters. It's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah he does yeah. that a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's got a couple of really good, really good. Well, someone has to send me a song because I ain't. No, got well, yeah, I, I, I'll send you one of his popular ones. Mm. Yeah, I'll send you one. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'll definitely, I'll definitely, I'll send right, you yeah. a link to the album, man. And it's, and it's funny, like I said, we're not celebrating him enough, and and that's why he's in America. There you go. I oh, say so he's British, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah British, he's British. He's British. British, yeah, he's British, 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 but yeah, it's British, and this, this is what, and this is what tends to happen with a lot of uh, the UK artists. They, you, 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 the thing is that they'll get big in America, but they've been here for ages, and you've kind of probably disregarded them, or the music scene is disregarding them. And as soon as they're big in America, oh yeah, he's from he's from England. Oh, yeah, is like, he? would have made it here. There's a, I think there's a few of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Definitely a few of them. I mean, even man like Jay Sean, you get me? Jay Sean had to go. Jay Sean, oh, you get yeah. me? Yeah, Jay, Jay Sean, Sean man. yeah, man. Yeah, I think, I think the music scene in England is is quite, although it's quite big in the sense of a lot of people can kind of make it, it's still quite narrow. R and B, R and B doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah probably Craig David. I can't, think, I can't think of anyone that blew up, blew up from R and B. And then even Craig David. Remember, it was Garage. It was Garage first. Yeah. And he went to America as well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So he still Very went to true. America. Yeah. It's so true. Yeah, but yeah, but shout out ZZ Mill, shout out Angel. Um, yeah, hope can't wait for the new project. Like looking yeah. forward to it. Looking forward to it. Um this week, and although she's my people, I may say her name wrong, and I mean no offense. Okay. But the first female um to lead the World Trade Organization. Her name is Ngozi Onkonjo Iwala. Come on. On point. On. on point. On point. <laughs> <laughs> my people dead. That's my peoples. <laughs> Get me. Get me. Come on. The, they, the, the ancestors are proud of me. They're, they're proud of ancestors. Man. Yeah, they're man. Proud. I don't even say planting no more. I say plantain. Oh my plantain. God. <laughs> plantain and jollof. Oh. But yeah, um, I'm going to be real. I don't really know much about the World Trade Organization, but especially being the first female and also the fact that she's also an African. Do you get me? So like, hopefully that's moving big things, man. Yeah, but shout out. Big definitely. Big mm. up, big up, big yeah, up. So hopefully, like I said, she does big things, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, 
Um, before we get into the next topic, Kel, I'm just going to shout um, a little shout out to the Super Bowl. Um, that was on Sunday. I'm going to be real. I don't watch American football. Yeah, no do I, bro. Like, no I, I. I try to, like, for the Super Bowl, I try to kind of get into it. But yeah. I think, like Rich, I only really watch the Super Bowl for the halftime entertainment and to see what, like, new things are coming out. Because obviously... Was, it, was, was anything revealed? Any any new trailers? We... Yeah, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll talk about trailers. Yeah, yeah there's a few right, trailers. Cool. We'll talk about a few right, trailers yeah. that come up. Right. But I know, I think The weekend did, he did the halftime one. And obviously, we always remember the infamous one with Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake. Just, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nip or slip, yeah. The nip slip. And yeah. like, so, yes, yeah, so and like Beyonce done it, has done one. There's been a few kind of big artists that do it. So, usually, that's literally what I watch it for. But um, Tom Brady is now the most successful quarterback ever. He's won his seventh ring. Yeah. And he's, I want to say he's like, 37 maybe he's, like, he's a grown up grown up do you get me yeah. they're saying if he keeps on playing to 40 he could get to 10 yeah, yeah. is he that and good I, well, no one knows no he, 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 he is good. good no he is good but in this one the quarterback from the other team and I don't want to say his name wrong because I don't remember it they were saying that they had too much and they thought they were going to win but Tom Brady did his thing and defensively his team did well yeah so shout Great. out Tom Brady seven rings yeah, to be fair, you only need really one more because you, you don't want to put them on your thumbs anyway. Yeah, <laughs> and, the, and the rings don't actually look pretty, but they're worth a lot. Hundred <laughs> percent. All right, Kel. Yeah, man. Talk to me. Something popped up on the timeline this week. Yeah, it was, it was getting a bit political in, on the timeline, but this thing raises his ugly head now and again. Uh, it's colorism, isn't it? Basically, so. Rochelle Humes, who is the wife of Marvin Humes, who was jealous, you know, jealous. Yeah. I don't know why I'm doing that dance, but yeah. But Rochelle was also mm-hmm. in, mm-hmm. when she in Saturdays. Saturdays. Oh, yeah, Saturdays. Saturdays. Sorry. Of course, yeah, like, she, she had her old thing. She's not the same. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Yo, it's, it's 2021. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we can't describe Some these women. Her name. All right, we can't describe right, the women. All right, by their all right. Yeah. All right. She was part of the Saturdays. Yes, sorry. Yeah. And the husband was part of Jealous. <laughs> and she also hosts... GMTV Daybreak, one of them programs. Well, this, yeah, morning. One of them. She was, yeah, this morning, this morning, one show. This morning, this morning. Yeah. That's quite a few things, though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, she does the one I, show. I, as well. Yeah, I see. I see. Mervs a fan. <laughs> what can I say, man? What can I say? <laughs> I was like, don't disrespect to the bro. And the gritted teeth for that. I was ready to come onto your screen, man. Yeah, like, whoa. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> no, uh, anyway, so she's doing a, a really good documentary because I. I kind of knew, but I did I don't know why, I just never registered with me. But basically, for some unknown reason, black women have a high death rate um, giving birth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very high death rate. And it's been, it's been like that for, for many years. So obviously, it's never been uh, broadcast in the main media or nothing. You know what I mean? It gets set on the carpet as per usual. And uh, obviously, Rochelle's been handing this role to um, document why this is happening and what is ha- what is causing this to happen and why is it not in the mainstream media and stuff like that. And I think she'd be like interviewing people that's gone through certain traumatic times during labor and stuff like that just to ask what, what, what the issue is. But what's happening now within the black community is that apparently this role was was originally given to a lady called Cadiz K- Braithwaite. Okay. Uh, and she's dark skinned. Okay. And um, for those that don't know, Rochelle's mixed race and Cadiz is black. Well, yeah. So basically, um, there's an outrage where they're saying, why, why did they, why did, why did they drop this Cadiz woman for Rochelle? What was the reason? What was the reason behind it? Because uh, apparently, uh, according to Cadiz, it was only up to six weeks ago that she knew she was going to get dropped. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. Up, up until then, she was getting ready to do the whole documentary, and all of a sudden, she's not doing it no more, and then they're giving it to Rochelle. Is it because Rochelle's got more of a, a more marketing? So, um, how can I put it? Like she's more marketable. Yeah, yeah, she's more marketable. Obviously, she's on TV. She's on TV. More of a TV Everybody, personality. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So people know her more. People might tune in more because she's she's going to be hosting it. Do you know what I mean? She might attract more people to it. You know, but people are kind of look, trying to look on the, the other side of it. That is it because she's quote unquote light skinned. But before I go to this guys, yeah, I don't know if it's just me, but when I was younger. There was a difference between light skin and mixed race. Yeah, yeah. Like, like um, light, like for example, um, Drake is mixed race. Yeah. Mm. Uh, John Legend is light skin. Do you know what I mean? 
you know, Alicia Keys is mixed race. Beyonce is light skin. Like there was all the difference, and it's but now it's like it's merged. Mixed race and light skin people are, are the same. It's like it's, it's so it gives me confusion to like why do people because like, when I refer to light skin, I refer to black people that just light skin, and then when I say mixed race, you're mixed race. Do you know what or, I mean? So or, or dual heritage. Dual heritage, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's a bit, but again, um, that's just, I'll just throw it out there because oh, I was wondering was it just me or is it just has it always been that way where mixed race people are called light skin? But anyway. I wouldn't say so. I don't know. Not, not, yeah. I've, I've always kind of just thought light skin is just like a light skin black person, mixed race is a mixed race person. Yeah, exactly. That's always what, but people have just fused it into one where they mm. light skin, just put them all in one bracket. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> which, I, which, I, which I don't think is right. But, but you I, know what? I suppose it's really, it's hard, isn't it? Because now, I suppose people just identify how they want to be identified. So it's like a mixed race person might just say, I'm light skinned. And it's like, that's how they want to be um, represented, isn't it? And it's like, well, yeah, I don't know, it's hard. Yeah, no, obviously, yeah. I, when I was growing up, that's yeah, yeah. how it was, it was yeah. yeah. Um, and then, so so that's, that's the uproar within the black community, basically. They're saying that it's colorism, it's because she's light-skinned. That's why she got the role over Cadiz and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, um, this has been going on. Why are they getting a, a mixed race person to speak about black issues, black problems? It should be a, it should be a, a full black person and blah, 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 blah. Um, for me personally, for me, it's just to get a message out there. Isn't it? I don't really care who delivers a message. Just mm. get the message out there, let everyone know mm. what's going on and how can we resolve this issue? Like, yeah, yeah. I, I don't really care who delivers the message, to be honest. I, I mean, obviously, you know, apologies to Cadiz Brefe. She, she probably does feel hard done by because she was get she was get gearing up for this role and getting all excited about it and then it got taken from her. So I understand she's hurt about it, which is understandable. But I don't think I don't know the reasons why. But for me, I just want the message to get out there so mm. people can act on it. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah and, and I think I think does Rochelle consider herself being black? And I think someone going to um, take that role would consider himself being black, finding out more information, or be part black. And I think if Rochelle was comfortable in doing that role, taking that role forward, then boom, it is what it is. I, I don't, I don't, mm. sorry, go on. No, go on, you go on, sorry. Yeah, mm. I, I personally don't see an issue um, with it, personally, but I've obviously, like you said, that woman, what's her name, Cadiz? Cadiz Brayford, yeah. she, she's, she's, she's obviously, she's burnt, and yeah. potentially trying to find a way of, but no, it um, wasn't her. It wasn't her that said anything. She didn't say nothing. It was just the, oh, it was, it was just, people, just media, isn't it? Just media like, saying oh, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, she didn't say it. nothing. She's oh, okay. like, oh, thank you for the love, guys. Like, you know, it's overwhelming. She she didn't put nothing out there. She didn't even say nothing at all. It's just okay. But yeah. but you know what as well? Like, remember when we watched that program, the talk? And I'm yeah. sure Em um, Rochelle just she identifies herself as black anyway. So yeah, it doesn't. She did identify herself yeah. as black in the pro, but her, I guess. Her issues were her being mixed race, if I remember yeah, when we talked about yeah. the talk. It was about her being mixed race and her n dealing with her thing of mixed race. But even if we went back to the talk, for example, yeah. Yeah, when we watched the talk, there was lots of mixed race people within the talk. Do you remember? Mm, so there was yeah. like Rochelle, yeah. um, Leanne, there was... Um, get to Leanne in a second as well, yeah. What's, what's the Scottish woman's name? I think she's Scottish. Oh, um, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Emily Sunday. Emily Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, yeah. And also was one of the brothers from Diversity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah? Jordan, Jordan Banjo. Yeah. yeah. So all of them potentially would be a mixed race or would yeah. be, or yeah, light yeah. skin, however yeah. we wish to describe them. Even light yeah. skin sounds mm. a bit of a, a mad thing to say. Yeah. And I remember watching the talk and I was like, okay, but maybe we should have got like maybe some, I don't know, like some dark skin, like people to kind of talk about their kind of um, experiences and see if that kind of made a change. You see what I'm saying? So like, mm. I think a lot of those parents are also dealing with, I'm dealing with issues because my child is mixed race and how we deal with that in the world. Mm. Whereas like, maybe if you had like um, a Nigerian family, their issues when they're talking to their children about you must work harder, you must work doubly hard if you're going to have opportunities, all that kind of stuff. And I don't think that came out in the talk. And no, I think, I think when, we, what, yeah, of course. when we spoke about the talk, we wish that it was a longer, it was like, it was a series as opposed to one random episode. Yeah. But what I think what the people are saying is, why is it that a mix of people are talking on black topics? Like, no, why I, is I, that? I don't think that, I, I think but anyone... I 
I don't anything, agree anyone that should be able to talk about it. It doesn't matter yeah. if it's yeah. Sally yeah. from Jersey. No, no, if because... I'm real, like, it could be Sally from Jersey given the news. The information, like you said, the information has to be out there. Yeah. But I think more about, I think with a lot of those things about colorism, I think a lot of them is the fact that they see it as black girls are being overlooked for these kind of roles by their lighter counterparts. I don't think it is necessarily about Rochelle being mixed race and given the news. I think it's just a case of if the news was taken from someone who was darker and given to someone that's lighter. I think mm. that's what their issue is. So I was going to say, so Leanne from Little Mix? Yeah. Yeah. Leanne from Little Mix, she also is behind the documentary to talk about colorism, you know. And again, there's an uproar that why, why is Leanne talking about colorism? But um, obviously, her sister's come out in her defense saying, you no, know, she was approached to talk about her experience with colorism mm. and stuff like that. So, and obviously, and then I think they'll probably, I don't know how the documentary, documentary's going to go, but it will be about, other people and what they've gone through, but and it should be about her first, and then maybe go on to other people. But people are complaining like, why is it, why why is Leanne or Rochelle, these mm. two people of mixed heritage, speaking on these things that happen in the black community? You know what I mean, stuff like that. So it's like it, this always makes its head. Like I don't think yeah. it ever end. It's, I think it's like what we discussed when we were about the other day, the other week or so. When I, when I said like, if I become an F one driver, yeah. Can I say I'm the f- and, I, and I win the championship and whatnot? Yeah. Can I now? Can I now say I'm the first black F1 driver or is it Lewis Hamilton? By rights, what, what I mean, it's like it's like I'm being I played the devil's advocate here. Am I being stripped of that right? Am I being stripped of that privilege or am I being stripped of that because Lewis Hamilton's done it now and he's mixed race, but he's this of us black, but I, I'm I'm black, one percent black, hey, and I've won I've won a championship. Like am I, am I being stripped of that now? Do you know what I mean? That so this is where this is where it becomes techie. But for me, black, light skin, if I'm mixed person, uh, at this point, someone's being black, cool. Like, it's all black in it. But I can see the other argument, but I don't agree with it, if that, if that, if that makes sense. Yeah. See, you just said it. It's just that like Lewis Hamilton thing. This is like, to me, he's black, right? And we shouldn't doubt anything of it. And when it when it comes to, like, praise and everything else, we it's like, we, we're happy to accept. But when someone... Who, who's a mixed race is taking that that job role from someone who's black there's an uproar because that person's mixed race it's like come on come on guys it's like what are we doing are, are we just fighting each other unnecessarily oh yeah i think it's yeah. I don't, well, you know yeah, I just, yeah exactly well, it is unnecessary but we've got to remember those things those things were it's part of this whole that, yeah, thing, yeah that's part of the thing that's been placed on us we that's not something that we've kind of developed overnight that is something that has been ingrained in us and even when they talk about stuff like the people that were the light are got closer to the house if you was dark skin you was in the field all of those kind of things we they they set it up they set the system up like that for us to be able to compete against each other yeah which is wrong it's just divide and conquer it doesn't matter like we're all like you know see see see, but but the thing is right this is this is okay we know this. We still continue it. We don't stop. We we st- we continue. No, so we, we we allow the cycle to continue. What cycle? To to have to to have for that mentality continue to build. Yeah, because it's like because it, it, because their argument is they they can they can show you a long list of they can like like dark skin people or dark skin ladies can show you can give you a long list of them being. Um, pushed aside or being replaced or um, just f- for a light for a light skin person, they can show they can they can read up a long list of things. That's Bro, to them. We can Keep even say that. But, you know I mean? Okay, and it wasn't because of this, but you could even say Aunt Viv and Fresh Prince. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like we. My, yeah. my wife, my wife and kids, Claire, Claire and, and my wife and kids, light skin. You know what I mean? It's... Like, do you know what I mean? And it, that's just TV, but we can see that those are things that we've seen, that there was one person, then the next season, like Magic, someone else, but you didn't even get this person to look remotely yeah. like the first person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. There was no attempt. <laughs> no, there's, there's no attempt. There's no, there's no attempt. They, remember, they didn't even explain these things. You know the ones? They yeah, made joke. Yeah. They made jokes in Fresh Prince that, that, that she changed. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Like, let me question. Okay. but And that's what I'm saying. So, it, And I get it. As a black woman, I'm not a black woman, but as a, as a black woman, I can understand 
your plight, innit? Like, and I'm, I don't disagree or agree. I, I hear it. So, yeah, I hear it. I, I, I do see the point of view. I hear it. But I think we should, yeah, it's, it, will, it, will hard be, it will be hard to get us all the unison and just, but it's, I, I tell certain things change. It'll always keep wearing this ugly head. It'll always keep wearing this mm. ugly head, unfortunately. Change. I think, I think that that's what's been requested throughout time and change. No matter what change, it looks like nothing's ever going to change. Mm. Now we have to believe that change will happen one day. But yeah. when, we don't know. Do you know what I mean? I believe that change will come. You get me? But it's just when. When and how and where. Yeah, yeah but look up. But anyway, look up for those documentary, guys. I don't know when they're coming out, but um, I feel it's very interesting. And yeah, man. Shout out to Rochelle. Shout out to yeah. Leanne. Shout out to everyone that's in them, because I think, actually, those stories do need to be told. Do you know I mean, for me, there's stories that need to be told, man. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. All right. Um, this week, we had a few RIPs. Okay, two that we knew of. All right. Um, Chris Plummer, who was from Sound of Music. Christopher Plummer. Christopher you know what? Plummer. Yeah. What's funny, right? RIP. You know, I saw a little clip of Sound of Music and I did not know that was him. <laughs> do, do you know what? As you say that, Rich, here, yeah, I... Like I said to Nate earlier during the week, like Sound of Music, I watched for the first time, I think, a couple of years ago. Mm. And I didn't have a clue that, like, well, yeah, I didn't see it before, innit? And I was looking at this man, I'm like, still don't know who this man is, innit? Because he's so young in it, obviously. Yeah. I think from the first time I ever saw Christopher Plummer when he was just old, like, probably yeah, straight 60s. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, I've, I've always just been used to him as an older man. And when, he, when you used to see people when they're younger, you're like, Right. No way, <laughs> do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, sorry. No, so, yeah, 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 it's the same. I was just, I was just like, mm, I don't know who he is. But then, like I said, when he's old, then you go, like, oh, okay, now yeah. you're somebody. Yeah, no, nah, um, for me, Sound of Music, like, shout out to my mum. That was one of my favourite films as a child. She was like, you're, if I spoke to her, she was like, you're always watching that film. Like, you're always sitting there singing that song. Like, literally, <laughs> if she wanted me to be quiet, she'd put on Sound of Music and I was good. <laughs> I was good. Like it's... my mum watched it until today. It comes on now. She'll stop everything and no, watch that... it. Bro, my mum my loves that film. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. If I'm at your house and it comes on, me and mum are gonna sit there and just watch yeah, it in yeah, silence. Yeah. Bro, she loves that film. It's so long though. Oh, I love it. So long, Do you know what? It's, it's it's weird though because I I love it up to a certain point. Like the bit where they're like running from like the not the they're Germans going into that... like into the yeah. war stuff, innit? I didn't yeah, like that... all that bit. I didn't yeah. like that bit because I thought that was a bit like I wasn't ready for that. But all the rest of it. I am 16, going on 17. All right, never mind. Okay. Yeah. Can I just yeah. say, I've never watched it. You never watched it? No, oh, no, wow. So, oh, wow. Watch it on a Sunday afternoon, bro. Two o'clock in the afternoon. Rich, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I know that most of us don't have DVD players anymore, but I've got two DVDs of it here. I can't believe what you're saying. Yours yeah. are live with the sound of <laughs> music. Yeah. <laughs> but how long is it? How long is it for? Um, I like about, about three hours. Yeah, three hours. About two and a half, three hours. It's a good uh, film, I, though. It's a good film. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. I think of Thanos, man. I can, I can straight. I'll, I'll ride it. It better be good, though. No, no, it is. I, I thought it's good. It's a musical. It's a classic. It's, it's a classic. classic. It's got no. Julie Andrews in as well. It's good, man. Okay. Um, also, um, over the past week, um, we've got to say a good R- a big RIP to Yvonne Connolly, okay, who was the country's first black head teacher in 1969 at a school called Ring Cross Infant School in Holloway at just 29 years old. Okay. Big up, big up, big up, big up, big up. Yeah. So that was amazing. Rest in peace, man. Yeah, man. She died at 81 years old. Um, Apparently she'd been suffering from an incurable blood cancer for the past 10 years. Mm. Yeah. And at one point she actually needed a bodyguard to accompany accompany her to work. Because obviously them times there, they weren't really feeling the fact that there was a blackhead teacher. Mm. Imagine, do, man. Do, do you know what? It, it took a, a brave um, governing team to make that decision. Mm. Let's break that barrier. You know, let's like let's get someone who is black as a head teacher. Yeah, that and that, 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 that must have been a changing a whole a changing thing for the UK. Mm. Probably similar to what's his name? Oh, the guy that was in the Stephen King, not Stephen King, um, Stephen McQueen films. You know the one that John Boyoga played? Yeah. Oh, part of his name. Was it Rod? Did you talk about a police officer? Yeah. Yeah. No, that his name was... Is it Leon? Rod, Rod... Is it Rodney? No, 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 no. Uh, it's... Um... It's so bad, they remember. We're really bad. 
He's yeah, you know, you know what we know. We know it's Nate Spoiler's way, though. Yeah, Nate should have said it straight away. Should have said it straight away. In fact, you should have should have mentioned it. Disappointed, disappointed, disappointing me. All right, okay. Also, all right. One one thing. I will pick her up because that was actually only 50 years ago and obviously mm. the world has changed by now. I don't know how many more black hair teachers we have, but I do believe they're going up. Yeah. But also, Kel, you've known me for a long time. Kel. I know, I know, I know. I'm joking. Okay. I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> All right. If, hey, if anyone sees me out on roads, like Kel could testify to this, yeah? If you say, if you say Wagwan, I'll be like, Wagwan, and I'll talk to you for about 20 minutes, half an hour even, yeah? And I'll call you bruv, all of that, cuz, all of that, yeah? Because I won't remember your name. And then usually <laughs> Kel looks at me because I start saying your name like 15, every time I talk to you, I say your name. And Kel goes, you just remember this name, innit? I'm like, yeah, I just remember this name. <laughs> All the time. I'm <laughs> really, really bad with names. So is- <laughs> the worst is when you're trying to introduce someone. Yeah, this is my, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah I've yeah, done yeah. that so many times. Uh, Leroy Logan, Leroy, Leroy Logan. Logan. Leroy. Yeah. Logan, that's his name. Bro, bare times, I do this thing. Hey, you let introduce yourself, innit? <laughs> Bro, I'm not, not Silla Black, bro. I've introduced yourself. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Yeah, because I actually don't remember your name. Oh. But yeah, no, nah, definitely. Um, RIP Live on Colony. Um, but yeah, that brings us to TV and films, man. Let's get in the mix. Let's get it on. Pause. Yeah, I feel like we need to have a little music here. Like, Richard, saw it out. Yeah, I'll see what I can do, son. Let's see like what a, I can do. A little, a little beat that like, yeah. brings us in the transition. Not grime, not, not grime, Rich. Yes, so... oh, 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 yeah, right. And it like some 20th century Fox kind of jingle or something, can it? Like, you know. Anyway, yeah, um, yeah it, I you think. Make it like, should, should we not mention the, um, I guess, as part of the TV film and TV? Yeah, like, so part, yeah. we're going to do a TV film. Oh, okay. Film. So that's why we've left it, because what we're going to do is we're going to introduce the first thing, the yeah. series, and yeah. then we'll go straight in. Okay, let me, let, me, let me take a step back now. I'm getting involved yeah. too much. Yeah, go All on. right. Sorry, so. Sorry. As you know, for the past five weeks, we've been doing the regular. And this week, we had One Division episode five. Okay? Mm. And last week, it got a bit heated because everyone's like, Nathan don't know what he's talking about, and I'm wrong and strong. But we're going to ignore that, okay? Because that was then. We've now, this is a couple of weeks later, so that argument is done. No, we've yeah? got grudges, you know. But yeah, anyway, no, no. Go on. Yeah. no one ain't moving like no gal where they're like, no, but remember yeah. in week two. No, nah, that's done, yeah? We're going to move forward. Yes. So. That's sexist. But anyway, go on. One Division go episode on. five, guys. What were your thoughts? Fight. They done well. They smashed it. Yeah, man. It's really good. Really good. We're really, really good. Um, I can't tell you what happened. <laughs> it's all so... Do you know? Obviously, this this is this episode was the opening the doors for the multiverse, isn't it? Obviously, and we just don't know how that's going to happen. But like, I don't know about you guys, but I expected to see um. Ari Taylor Johnson, I think that's his name, as the Quicksilver, when we saw him from the back, in it because he had the same yeah, hairstyle yeah, and everything. Yeah, so I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, oh, you went right. straight to the end. I know, this exactly. Shit, yeah. bro, bro, you went straight bro, 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 bro. Bro, Talk about talk about what coming out. And like, you know what none mean? of this foreplay, none of this foreplay, bro. Let's get straight into it. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, said, wham, bam, thank look, you, ma'am. ma'am. <laughs> Everybody knows, isn't it? Like, yeah. What, yeah, that, that. Don't don't be lipsing me. Don't lips me. Don't lips me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I'm not a ki- I'm not a kissing thing in it. Like. <laughs> I got things to do. Yeah, man. No, that, that's not, not everyone. Everyone wants to talk about it. So let's not front, man. No, go ahead. Go like, ahead. Go ahead. But yeah, no. But that 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 obvious. I guess that part of it just opens up so many questions and speculation and everything. And yeah, and and obviously he's the first character from the Fox's X-Men um, that is in the MCU. So it's like... It's official. Yeah. It's official now, isn't it? Does that mean Magneto's going to come in? And, and, and you know... Yeah. yeah. Like, you, know, you know, technically, um, Magneto's their dad, isn't it? It's Wonder yeah. Statue. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. In the, dad, comic, in the comics. In the comics, yeah. 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 And, in, and in X-Men, isn't it? Nah. Yeah. Is it, it hasn't been has no. revealed yet in X-Men. I wasn't revealed, X-Men. but... But well, you know what? Wonder, Wonder wasn't Wonder wasn't I, in. No, she, was, she wasn't involved. Then she wasn't. No, involved. because it was a different. It was a different sister. Oh yeah, Wonder was in X Men. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, they didn't even mention her. Just she just no, went no, in there. It was yeah, yeah no, she, she wasn't mentioned. It was just um, yeah, it's um, all this licensing business. Quicksilver, isn't it? So, Quicksilver. Yeah, sorry, that's all it was. Yeah. Um, no, no, I, I think what they done, they just, you know, it's just like, what film of the, what show did it to? It's like just no need to explain anything. They've bought, they've bought in Quicksilver. That's him. 
now he's in a new films. Done. You know, they've, they've done it before. I can't remember what film. They've, they've done it. Like, even like when he makes a joke about it, um, Deadpool and stuff like that. I mean, it, talk, it talks about X Men and mm. um, or how he did another role as for banter. And yeah. the way the way that they just pushed it in, it's like, um, it's like Marvel think right. We definitely want him as Quicksilver. We like him. How can we bring him in without explaining too much? Best, you know. To be fair, I do prefer him as Quicksilver. To be fair, the, the, the more the charisma in it. Yeah, more yeah he got more. Yeah, definitely. yeah, yeah. I, I do like him. He's mm. got, it's got yeah. a bit more. Yeah, like I said, he's yeah. got charisma for sure. Yeah. But, I, but um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm intrigued. I, 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 I want to see what happens next. Mm. You know, the fact that even, even when, when he, when they opened the door and it was him, and what's that girl's name? Who was in four? Um, Darcy. And she said, oh, they recast, they recast, they recast, they recast him. <laughs> yeah. And that day, I was just laughing out loud. That's like, yeah. they smashed it. You know, Darcy's basically us, isn't it? She's the one, yeah. like, yeah. how we react to it. Yeah, she's it? a geek. She's like, yeah. she's a geek. She's like, yeah, yeah. Papa. Oh, man. Yeah. And I love, I love the fact that when she came out of the hex now, isn't it? that's what they're calling it, the hex. Yeah. Like, yeah. She came out of the hex and she was just um, in full Scarlet Witch uniform, isn't it? Yeah. Like, like yeah, you can blatantly just see that that they're setting up her, yeah, for the, yeah. For the Sorry, bad guy, isn't it? Yeah. But she came but, back uh, accent, everything, bro. All of that yeah, stuff. Yeah, I noticed that. You yeah, know. yeah, the accent. Yeah. So you remember when we spoke about the accent? Nah, it's yeah. back, bro. Like it's back. whatever we're pretending to do inside the hex, like mm. I'm out here. Yeah, I said enough. I said enough. She's like, you know what, you guys, let me come out and chat to you, lot, in it because like you don't get my message loud and clear. So let me come out and then show you, man, what I'm about in it. Yeah, straight. Yeah. And then like, you know the bit where all of the guns, where before she goes yeah. back and she mm. made all the guns point at yeah. um, the director. You know, we're, yeah. we're so going backwards on, on this show, you know. I, I know, know, I know, but it was if them, look, them look took us no, there. No, it's Merv. Merv, it's just Merv, the Merv, end, Merv, Merv took us there. So we, now we've got to go back. So yeah. yeah. Now we've got to start doing full play afterwards. You get me? <laughs> but, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, babes, we're going round two. We're going round two. Um, but even that bit there, when they did, they did the guns, that was um, an old to X Men, innit? So yeah. when Magneto, yeah, 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 when it, he did the whole guns, um, yeah, I think it's X Men two, it? I think X Men no, X Men one, X Men one, one, yeah, yeah X Men one, yeah, mm. yeah, that was yeah. I like I like that little uh, nod to that man, but and also what was good because it just proved like even though they had a good idea of flying that um drone or whatever it was anyway into mm. that place and it was a case of like it's just like now I've had enough of this nonsense you guys trying to come in interrupt my my little world and my little story. Mm. And again, like I said, when she come out, she, the full outfit, it's, it's take back your stupid toy and piss off in her accent. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, surprised she, I'm surprised she didn't start taking talking her own language. You know them ones? <laughs> Did you not think though, at that point there, yeah? You see Monica, Monica had said, oh, I've got someone that can do this thing for you, yeah? Mm. And then all of a sudden they was doing the drone. And I was thinking, Monica, was that what you wanted to do? But clearly that wasn't what Monica was doing. That was just what the sword wanted them to do in it. Mm -hmm. And I don't like my man though. I feel like my man, I guess to be fair, he's like all of them. All of them that don't like aliens or extraterrestrials. Yeah, they're all, yeah. Yeah, they're all a bit, they're not listening. They're not trying yeah. to vibes. You get me? Who, who the, um, the director? Yeah, the director. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, yeah. Not, they're never trying to, be patient with anyone. I know you'd think after all this time, like yeah. from when the minute four came and, and they saved the world from Thanos, they'll be like, yeah, safe, innit? Cool, innit? Yeah, yeah, like, take time, innit? I put a missile, put, I put a missile to draw me, like, yeah, I'm gonna kill it. And then we, we have to take precautions. But yeah. do you see um you see how what's it when they mentioned um you know what you know what was deep as well, how they mentioned that like how Wanda could have basically taken out Thanos. Yeah, by itself. Powers, That's when you yeah. know she's got some next level oh, power. Next level. No, nah, no, nah, nah, but I think they're hyping. No, 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 no. Even not, in, no, in, no, the serious, one the serious rich. No, 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 no. no. In the film, no, we could remember in the I, I, film I, I, she. I refuse, I refuse. No, no, but in the <laughs> film you saw her take. You, you in the film you saw her take. Man's got Thanos hand. Put that, put that glove down, man. Put that. No, no, no. Obviously, you know, you see these, yeah. They they, they 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 give Thanos the powers, yeah. <laughs> There's no no one's telling me that she some skinny skinny woman no. has no, the skinny. ability no, remember, to take him. It's not about skinny woman. It's not about remember, skinny but the, in the film, Wanda actually did that though. Do you remember? She, she was a yeah. bit emotional. Bro. No, no. Wanda yeah. did it, and then listen, he used listen, the time stone yeah. and went back. Yeah, Thanos. Thanos only fixed people. Like Thanos is strong anyway, isn't it? He's he's barely strong, but 
there's people that will take him out. Wonder was going to take him out. Captain Marvel must took him out as well. But it just he's tactical, isn't it? it just yeah. use the Infinity Stones. Yeah. Like, to get and the- Hulk and yeah. Hulk by law should have been able to take him out also. I think if Hulk was, um, if, if, if it was, was Hulk a- in for Ragnarok, he would have taken him out. No, I even think I, he I was think Hulk. he lost. He would have lost that. I, he was that Hulk. No, but Hulk's strong, but he's mindless, isn't it? So if Hulk no, but he's mindless. Tactical, but remember, he gets stronger with rage. With rage, and every time you start punching him, he's supposed to get stronger. Yeah, true. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't him, know. Yeah, but but even like remember, Thanos only had what one Infinity Stone at the time. I don't even think he used it. That was a strip one, right? He didn't even use it on Hulk. He just he just fixed him straight. Isn't it? I was so I, I, you know, I was so upset. Isn't it? I was straight, so upset, bro. Straight punched the Adam's apple, bro. He was bro, gone. He fixed him. Yeah, I was yeah. like Hulk. No, but the, but then, but the, the thing is, yeah, I wasn't upset. I was so over. I was I was over the moon. I was over the moon. I said nah. to myself, "There's someone who's battered um, Hulk. That means Hulk has to- Merv knows already, <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> Merv knows already, right? As <laughs> soon as this happened, I said to myself." The next Avengers, Hulk and um, Hulk and Thanos are going to fight, especially after um, um, Thingy died. Scarlet, not Scarlet, which um, Black Widow died. Yeah, yeah. So it would have made sense, but clearly not. <laughs> clearly not. Uh, you know, give me two. It was um, Thanos' sidekick. I can't remember his name. He goes, "Don't leave them. <laughs> yeah, <he goes. laughs> let, him, let him have his fun. <laughs> let him have his fun." <laughs> All right, oh, psychic was a G. Well, let's I go bought... back to the actual beginning of the episode, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, man. Sorry. All right, the I'm twins. Excited, all right, we <laughs> had the twins. The twins are born. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tommy and Billy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Tommy and Billy started off as babies. She was struggling. And then in popped the neighbor, Agnes. Yeah. yeah. Who was like, okay, I'll fix it. mystery, man. This Agnes, one. I don't know. Who, I don't know. She, like, what is her main goal? Like, what is she doing? Because she's not, she's not. Part of the missing pe- the people on the on the, um, on the wall. Her, her and the postman, they're not on the wall. So those two people are like, I don't know what they, I don't know who they are, what they're doing. No, I, I just think she, I think they've got some from abilities. No. Yeah, they might be, they might be. Maybe, but Agnes knows, Agnes knows things. Yeah, she knows more than she's letting on. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, like she knows of the real world. So obviously Agnes comes in and then something happens and she goes, oh, um, should, we, should we take it back from the top? Yeah, oh, that was, that was, Vision was bad. Vision was bad. That was Just uncomfortable, like, man. That was uncomfortable. <laughs> and, 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 and it gets to a point, I feel sorry for Vision, you know, because he's like, he's thinking, what, what? is going on? Yeah. The, um, you know, like she said it, but she didn't even like try to play off like okay she's nah. you know like she didn't go she take from the top but, like mm. as a professional okay we'll just mm. okay okay no we'll just go through she was like she take from the top and just kept on giving a look like she wouldn't move until like she got the signal yeah and then obviously we had the twins Tommy and Billy and then Tommy they and Billy they can age themselves yeah, yeah. they can age themselves for the for the advantage in it like yeah. they want yeah, the they- dog. Not until you're ten, so yeah, let's 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 grow up to ten. <laughs> well, they're saying apparently, apparently, mm. not both of them can mm. age themselves. Apparently, one of them has the ability to age, okay. and he's aging both of them. And I think one of them has a similar power to, to Quicksilver. Her. Okay, yeah, Quicksilver. yeah. And one's got her, one's got her power as well. Mm. Mm. Well, yeah. So they, obviously, they grew up. They then had a dog, um, Sparky. They called him. Yeah. Um, and then later on, okay, we'll just talk about them for the time being. Then Sparky dies, and then she starts talking to them about like sometimes people die and you can't kind yeah. of deal with it, yeah. which I thought was quite like I understood the story, the message behind what she was yeah. telling them. And then obviously, they were like, that's when she found out that she was also a twin and all that kind of stuff. Hmm. So I thought I'm, I'm interested in Tommy and Billy and seeing how they kind of go. And obviously, one wears blue, one wears red, and I think that's how we're going to be able to differentiate them. Yeah, mm. definitely. Yeah, we, we will do. And it's, I think there are lots of stuff that are comic book references. Yeah. But I think if you haven't watched the comic book, they might not, they'll go over your head. Yeah. Yeah. Because to be honest, sometimes when they're talking about some of these comics, there's so many different arches. Like you would have literally had to read comics just full time for you to yeah. get all of the different <sighs> stories. Nice, no, true. It's not with that. It's just like um, the comics, it's like, it's, there's one, it's like there could be five versions of. Yeah. Wonder Vision, yeah. Wonder, mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like it's, it's it's which comic, which version they're going to? Yeah, which is which is the main one, isn't it? Like, yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. And then obviously we've seen that Vision is now like what we were saying the other day last week. Vision getting very confused. So it's clear now that Wonder has resurrected Vision now. 
basically. Yes. The body snatched him, man. She took the body from body, the thing, yeah. yeah. And that, know, that was a hidden, that was it, sorry. Go on, go on Kels. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. No, no, you, you see, see. no, no, go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know, I, I think it was from um, Avengers, the second Avengers of Ultron. Yeah. I think that was, a, that, was a, that was a clip at the end of that film that they, with, they decided to take off. Infinity War. Was it Infinity War? Or, yeah. Or, no, it was, in, so it was Infinity War. It's Infinity War. War. Oh, it was Infinity War. Okay. So it's after Captain America died. Sorry, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously she broke into the, the sword, the, yeah. to the sword labs and took the body. And obviously she's resurrected. And I say, no, she's so powerful, Rich, bro. She's a mad. She's mad. Uh, you know what? Clearly she's a woman in distress. Yeah, yeah. Well, she's got so, to see I didn't laugh at that. Sorry, I didn't laugh at that. Going through some lost, bro. Lost her brother. Lost her robot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no. Right. Trust me. She, she, she lost. She lost a lot. She's lost a lot. Yeah. But I didn't. When they said about Vision, um, he didn't want to be used as a, his body as a weapon. And he didn't yeah. want to come back. Yeah. Part of me is like, I hear you, but when did Vision say that? Probably. You no, could, no, no. Yeah. Probably just said it. Said front, any, yeah. Like, yeah. This doesn't necessarily have to be said in any of the films, doesn't it? No, no, no. But I mean, mm. like. Yeah. I, I feel like Vision would have told like his people them that more than how the hell did Sword just hear that? Do you get me? Like he wasn't working with Sword. Like I just, that was for me. I was just like, okay, I've never heard that before, but it's fine. Like might, it goes might, with the sword. might have been released at like Sword Shield. Yeah, the same, it, yeah. Really? Must must be released in some sort of um, Sokovia Accords or something like that. Mm. Some hidden things, but yeah. Um, I can't remember what else happened in the thing, to be fair. We spoke about the most things. Do you know what I was going to say, though? Like, did you see how um, Monica got uncomfortable when, um, uh, what's his name? Darcy and the other guy. I don't know, they were like, talking about um, Captain, Captain Marvel. Marvel. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Mm. Maybe she's just angry that she just went and left in it and didn't come back or something. Like, didn't come back to see the mum die or anything like that. So I'm curious. Well, 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 maybe she did. We don't know. Yeah, probably. It's like they've got their own internal beef oh, going no. on there. Oh yeah, Captain Marvel. She went to go and help aliens. She said that she went to yeah. in the film. She went to go and help the, yeah. the, the world, the planets. Well, I'm curious though because she's supposed to be the next Captain it's Marvel, isn't it? Correct. Yeah. yeah. She's meant well, to be. Uh, she's supposed to. I know. I think she is in the comic yeah. arch. But I think if she was to be Captain Marvel and Cap in Captain Marvel two, that'd be a liberty to the actress that was originally Captain Marvel. Like they yeah, took yeah, her, like, like as in they put her in two films, three, two films? Yeah, maybe, maybe probably down the line, down the road somewhere, isn't it? Like, in the new Avengers. Yeah, yeah. But I wonder if she'd be linked to um, X-Men because Rogue was meant to take her powers, right? Rogue takes her powers from Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel, not yeah. Captain Marvel. But do you know what? Do you know what I'm as well? Baffed. I'm confused. Like Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel. <laughs> part of me, <laughs> yeah, me, part of me, like I really like the X Men and I mm. really like the MCU, yeah. Mm. But you know, like I've got so used to the old, the old Marvel characters, yeah. like the Iron Man, the whole quarter of Yeah. Year. Like I'm a little bit fearful. Yeah. For when they start linking everybody up, oh. like mm. I'm, I'm like I think it's going to be sick, yeah, because I think yeah. they'll know what they're doing, yeah. Yeah. But in a little way, I'm like, I like the fact that X Men were the X Men, these that were these lot. I like they were in their own boxes, and I think when you once you start kind of mixing them, it just starts. I feel like too I may it, yeah. it might become too much, and I don't want them to overdo it for people to like. I'm to be honest, like even though we're introduced to loads of new characters, if you think about mm. it, we're getting introduced to loads of new characters that are now coming in. Mm. So some of the films or the TV shows that are coming out, we may we've never come across these characters. Mm. So is it the, is it Eternals? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so the Eternals yeah. and there's the other one. What's the other one that's coming out with? Um, Shanghai. The Shanghai. The Shanghai one. Yeah. 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 So there's like I think there's been lots. Yeah. There's been lots of new characters coming in, and I just don't want to be over kind of whelmed and like all of a sudden we're now seeing Wolverine. We're seeing Storm. Bring it, bring it, bro. No, no, but no, but you can't. I, I think, think X Men yeah. Fantastic Four would be alright to collaborate a little bit, but. Yeah. No, but don't forget, don't forget, it's going to be a span of at least ten to fifteen years, right? Yeah, yeah. It, remember how it's going to be a long time. It's not going to just going to happen just like boom. Regular, can you be in our mid fifties? You know. <laughs> why? Why? Why do you? Oh, why? Well, let's be real, oh. let's be real, isn't it, man? Like, oh. I mean, <laughs> Wow. Ooh, you know, you know what is that? I, you know well, what? No, 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 Rich. You know? <laughs> no, no, Rich. You know what the maddest thing is here? I actually felt your pain, yeah, because in one aspect, I knew that 40 was like, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a little while away, 
but I knew 40 was coming up. When he said 50, that blew my mind, bro. That wow. You're out of order, you know? You're out of order. <laughs> so bro, you know it's coming, he, guys, isn't it? Obviously, his face, his, his bottom lip drop, bro. No, nah, you're out of order, oh. bro. I've never thought about that before. You're out of order. That's deep, yeah, you know. I, I don't even talk to you again, bro. You're out of order. <laughs> But, but see, I'm, I'll go to the naughty corner, yeah? Just, just leave me. You it's know, when you randomly start reflecting on life quickly. <laughs> That's got my reflected differently, you know? <laughs> you know, you got to start questioning, what have I achieved in life, you know? Fucking hell, man. No. Yeah, as long as we have the MCU, bro, we'll be fine. Absolutely. Don't worry, don't worry. Bro, can you but, imagine? At 50 years old, us doing the podcast. Okay, guys, <laughs> we finally got together. Why, why would our voices be withering? Like that? The things you were, we're gonna say, we're fully gonna say. That's a, that's yeah. a funny thing about it. No, we should be exactly the same, talking like this, and just just, be like, just yeah. silver head, boy, just silver head. Yeah, yeah, not not for me. You know. <laughs> but um, what were we saying? Fifteen years, the fifteen years span. The thing is, I, I I don't mind. I'm I'm you know all these characters got to come in sometime. Um, but like I said, it's more of the newer characters, like the Eternals, those ones, they're new to me, right? So I know of them, mm. but, I'll, but I have to literally go and Google stuff now and literally find out more information. So that's, I think that's, I think that's everyone, even from the directors, the producers, the writers, that's all new to them. So it's eventually you can't, con- can't continue to recycle the same old characters. Well, well that's because, what I'm saying. Thanos is the eternal, you know that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. So technically, that's what I'm saying. X-Men, if they're new, if we're introduced to new X-Men characters, I'm all right with that because I didn't know them, if that makes sense. Like what I can't see is Beast chatting to Hulk. Like, I don't want that. Like, I need <laughs> to I need to see new X-Men. Oh, the Professor, but, mm. Professor Hulk and Professor Beast. Nah. Yeah. It'd be too corny, in it. It's yeah. cool, oh, I'll bring that man. I like, I like, I like that pitch, man. Uh, but, but, but the like thing that. is, but the thing is, I don't, I think, I don't think you will see that. You won't see that for a very long time. That that chilling aspect of it. I don't, I don't think you will see that for a very, very long time. And if if Hulk continues to be the same Hulk he is in, as of now, because that Hulk won't, that Hulk, that Professor Hulk won't, won't last, man. Well, what do you mean? What do you I mean about last? What you think it will just revert back to angry? Or... It has to be anger management. <laughs> it has nah, to be well, anger management. No, but there's, there's no point in Hulk being in there. What's the what's oh, the point? I think something. I think something will happen where he'll, he has to he'll revert. revert. He'll revert back. But a, if, a, a death or something will happen to him. Maybe, maybe, maybe. No, Black, Widow, might, Black Widow's already dead. You might, you might. No, no. Professor, obviously, it? we know that Professor <laughs> is going to be in She Hulk. Yeah. 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 But that's what I'm saying. I, I generally, all of the characters that we've come to love to know that are in the backgrounds now, mm. okay, they're going to be phased out. And that's what I'm saying. That's what I mean. They're all going to be phased out. You know, like Iron Man, Captain America have been phased out. Mm. I believe that most of them will start to be phased out and you'll start to get like the new Avengers, the young yeah, Avengers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. Like, Hulk, yeah. all of them, they're going to be like OGs, just like yeah. it, it, back in the lab. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, can't, I can't wait, bro. Can't wait. Oh, I just, I just, there's this, I don't know. It's, it's, I know what, I know what you're saying because it is difficult to see past what we've been growing up on for the last thirty to thirty to forty years. Um, what are you talking about? What are you looking at, Murph? What's me? I, I don't. Know. Well, <laughs> I said, I said thirty to forty years inside. I, guess, yeah, I, 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 I had to do some, I had to do some quick math in it. Like, no, you're all right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, should be <laughs> No way, uh, it's, it's, it's difficult for us to see past like, oh my God, no more Hulk. It's like, this is what we grew up on. But, yeah. but you know what, in saying that though, never in a million years would I have thought that I'd enjoy watching um, Scarlet Witch. I could just literally watch a pro, like we are obviously watching a program about her. But that's how deep it is, is that I'm actually interested in the Scarlet Witch character. I don't need Iron Man. I don't need, not, don't need Hulk. Any of them guys to like. Mm, mm. She can carry. Clearly, she can carry her own show by herself now. Yeah. But, and obviously, we're gonna know she's gonna be tied into other things. But this is how good they like. Look, even Ant Man. No one cared about wanting to see Ant Man. Mm-hmm. Like really, do you know what I mean? Although her name isn't Scarlet Witch yet, it's still Wonder. Oh yeah, Wonder. You see, but- you see, you see how. Um, sorry, you see how the uh, the director tried to um. Hero shame her in it. Like, yeah. does she go by any other names? Like, oh, no, yeah, just, yeah. just, 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 um, just wonder Maximoff. Like, yeah. um, but, but the, the question yeah. is, right? Did you, um, so uh, would you 
would you go to the cinema and watch this? I thought you were going to say that. I thought you were going to say that. But I had, I had to say, would you? I was like, oh, please, Rich, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no but would you know? Get your mind out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave the accent. But anyway. <laughs> but no, if this was in a cinema, yeah. how would you rate this film? Obviously, I know we haven't seen the last episode, but how would you rate this film? Would you say, yeah, this is a sick Marvel film? Yeah. Or, but would you? Yeah. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. No, the only That's thing a... that you would say is that it has less action than some of the other movies. If it was a movie, we would be used to more action in a superhero film. But... Mm. If this was an origin story or origin type story, I think it's a decent, it's, it's a decent show. I think as a TV series, it's worked amazingly. I yeah. think I was, I didn't know that Disney would be able to do the weekly thing, but they've got it unlocked, mm-hmm. yeah. like the weekly serial thing. Like I think it's dead. They've smashed it in, in my eyes. Mm, they they have, smashed man. it, which leads me on to the next thing. But in terms of what you said about the Hulk thing, Rich, Rich for me, yeah. at Arsenal, I thought nothing wouldn't be able to do anything past Ian Wright. And then we got Thierry Henry. So I'm hoping that this is similar. Do you get me? Them times yeah. there, we thought no one ever would beat them goals. Ian Wright, sick. Bad yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, then Henri yeah, came. Yeah. Okay, I'm not sure who's coming off that, but do you know what I mean? Maybe no, Eddie for and... a long time. Maybe Damn Eddie man. and Ketier. <laughs> just, had, just had to go into football, with it? Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry, 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 sorry. Maybe, Was there nothing happening this week? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like... <laughs> All right, cool. All right, which leads us on to a trailer that was revealed in the American football, yeah, Super Bowl that happened on Sunday, which was the Falcon and Winter Soldier trailer. I refused to watch it. You didn't watch it? I didn't watch it, man. Did you not watch it because, like, you didn't want to watch a trailer, like how I don't want to watch trailers for the Marvel films? Partly, yes. Partly. Okay. Because, yeah, I I, I have, I don't have low expectations, I don't have high expectations of this film, so of the series, so I just want to be surprised of what like what's gonna happen. Do you know what right. I mean? And because as, as I said before, Anthony Mackie, I'm not a big fan of his. So I don't I don't want to like see something I'll be like, I see I told you I knew it. <laughs> I just I sort of I sort of watch it. And then, yeah, you know what I mean. All right, well you might have to but, but you guys this. you guys no 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 it's cool. You gotta chat about it. It's cool. All right, what did you think of the trailer man? I'm 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 excited man. Maybe it's always excited no, for this stuff. No, like this, but I got a reason. I'm not just saying it because like, okay, I'm excited. Okay, like, okay. gosh, man. Anyway. Sorry, 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 like, sorry. Like... <laughs> we jumped to the video. <laughs> no, because, because, because me and Merv had this semi conversation before. <laughs> we jumped to the boy. I'm excited because it's given me exactly what I need so far, isn't it? I, I told you it's going to be some sort of buddy cop thing. Like, it's going to be just ground level action, isn't it? Like, and that's what the trailer's basically shown. Like, so. I don't know what to expect from it, but I, I'm not expecting like um, mystical power, supernatural things going on. Like, and if it does, I'll be surprised in it. But I think this is just like, again, getting characters, especially like Falcon. No one really cares about Falcon. I do like Winter Soldier though. I've always liked him, but I think they're going to just bring these characters more to the front now. And obviously we're going to get a chance to like see what they're about. Do you know what I mean? But um, but I've heard people like complain about um, Winter Soldier's character though, how he's a bit just all jokey and like light-hearted now and stuff, isn't it? But I'm like, well, then maybe... again, was he under a spell or some nonsense for ages? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, 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 think <laughs> think about it. It's like think about it, how he was in Captain America: The First Avenger, the first Captain America film. Yeah. And it, it was he was a bit jokey to be fair, and it? it was a bit like bubbly, and then obviously he died. And then as soon as he got resurrected, he was just under mind control. And it's like maybe towards, I think, end of Civil War, Civil. end game and all that stuff. That's when he started. Like, it was still a bit kind of, like, kind just of calm, isn't it? To, yeah, but, getting back to his natural self. Yeah, but, but remember probably, them times that he was just a weapon. Yeah. Like, well, to be fair, even when he was in Wakanda, he was just a weapon. Yeah. But I think it's like six months between end game and, like, Falcon and Winter Soldier now. He's a bit more... Like he's had some time to just basically perk up in it, so and adjust. Lot... To be fair, yeah, it's even, yeah. it's adjust to the world because yeah, so, yeah. when it's the same as Captain America when Captain America first came out. Mm. Remember, he remembers it in nineteen whatever nineteen yeah. forties. Yeah, it's now two thousands. He's got a, it's, it's a big adjustment. And even even in being under mind control, probably subconsciously he already adjusted to the modern world anyway. Do you know what I mean? Maybe, mm. maybe. But yeah, I just thought it was a bit of a 
weak argument like all right, like a minute, six months. It can change a lot can change in six months, isn't it? Personality yeah. wise. And I think this series is going to be based about how the world deals with the death of Captain America. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact that Captain America is no longer here. So it's the world. Mm. Similar to how in Spider-Man, the world was kind of dealing with the death of Iron Man. Yeah. I think this is now going to be about the kind of them dealing with Captain America and how they take that mantle forward. Yeah. And I have a feeling like because um, you know, at the end of Endgame when like um, Bucky was like, no, Sam, you take the show, didn't it? Yeah. I have a feeling it's just going to be a mixture of, no, I don't want it, you take it. Like, and they're just, because I swear they're, they're just both throwing that shield everywhere, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked like anyone could throw the shield. Yeah, yeah. And it's, this is why it automatically it's low expectations. Why? It's, 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 it's why low expectations. No, 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 no. For me, it's, for me, it's not low expectations. I think the series is going to be sick. I think the series is going to be sick. I think I enjoy Falcon. I enjoy... Um, Bucky, I think I, I'm looking forward to the series. Look, these the fact guys, that they told me the series was coming out in the 17th of March as well got me even more gas. Like, sure, you know, it's coming out quick, you know. Yeah, bruv, I'm on it. I need time. I need a break from one division. Like, well, one division's quick. got what? Um, three more episodes. Yeah, so it'll be. Is it yeah. three, is but it even three? then, even then, it's like a couple of months. I thought at least, but no. Yeah, bring it, bring it. And don't forget, guys. Justin Lee, Zack Snyder's cuts coming out March as well. Yeah. Oh, oh. excited, much excited. He loves to throw a DC. In, I, I can't lie, I'm, I'm excited, isn't it? No, I'm good. excited. I'm, like, I'm looking forward to it, to be honest. Really? I'm yeah. excited for two reasons to cuss it or to, <laughs> ce- or to, or, or to celebrate. It's either one. It, it, I'm going to get one of those reactions, in it? So either way, I'm excited. So I'll go, uh, with, I'll go with the first one that Merv was. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, 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 quick thing I saw the trailer, mm. when it's, I don't expect anything from it. I just, I just feel, I just feel both actors, right? These guys, they, they could never ever make this into a film in the cinema because everyone would be chucking tomatoes at, tomatoes at the screen. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm in the 30s, you know. Nah. <laughs> right next. Honestly, like these guys, are, okay, you're looking at, since they've been in Marvel, they've had that no more than um, 40 sentences between them, right? And, and just to see them on screen, and you think it's like it's like this is this is not the bill. This is not you know Cadley and Lacey. This this it's, it's not it's not one of those shows, bro. And you can tell they're trying so hard to make them yeah, a duo, innit? They're yeah, trying so hard to film. Nah, just stop it. Yeah. Just stop it. This is why you have to have low expected. Do not anyone listening to this, right? <laughs> when it comes out. Dude, when it comes out, don't get excited. Like, wow, wow, this is going to be fat. No, it's not the case. No, no, no. Do you, know, no, okay. oh, you, you, might, I, you okay. might as well start reading the words from the Red Book, boy, to mind control them, boy. Yeah, no, I'm going to be honest <laughs> with you. Like, I B9. think... No, nah, but in the same way, okay. When One Division came out, people didn't have high expectations for it. Yeah? That's One, Division, I, yeah. No, hold on. One <laughs> Division has shown you it's a decent series. Yeah? It's not a shit series. Yeah? No, but, but no. And, and what if, no. No, 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 but no. you can't say Wonder, Wonder in the films or the fact that Wonder and Maximoff, Wonder and Vision ran off to Scotland made you think, oh my God, this series is going to be sick. No. No, no, not necessarily. But you know, they had magical... No, no, no. They, what, they, had, they had special powers. powers. Of course. Forget the powers. It doesn't matter about the powers. The only reason... No, the only reason... The only reason... The, that, I, would, I, that a bit is about Wonder Vision because I know it's going to tie into the whole Doctor Strange. But that's what I'm saying because... Universe. And you like Doctor Strange. So, yeah. Pause. So but basically, you, know basically you guys pause. are... <laughs> So that's no, the, that's no, the, no, 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 you're no, people no, get to people about powers, basically. That's no, what you're saying, no, no, we're not. That's power racism. No, we're not. No, we're not. Power racism. <laughs> you, you cannot say that, please. No, we're not. <laughs> no, but, power racism, you know. No, but that's what it is. Um, like, what I'm saying is that, like, we didn't necessarily, you didn't necessarily think Wanda and Vision would be able to hold a series. They have been able to hold a series. And for me, I trust them that they know what's going to work. So I'm going to say, MCU, let's, let's see what happens. In it, because can't you see like they're they're clearly putting all the the, the side characters to the forefront, mm. and you're like yeah, like you said, wonder, wonder and vision. You like them already now, innit? Do you know what I mean they they've proven their worth now? Uh, to be fair, I did like it, them in the films. Anyway. Exactly, yeah. they're proven worth in the films as well. No, but but no, but, but, but Winter, no, come on now, Winter Soldier alone, the film alone. You're telling me you didn't like Bucky Winter Soldier? No, I said, okay, this is this is Bucky now. No, it's not the same Bucky that we saw <laughs> in in. In the Winter Soldier, it's not, it's not the same one. Well, Man's gonna have an arc in it. You can't just be. No, but you don't know time. that though. That's what I'm saying. You don't know that. That's what I'm what saying. Do mean, what do you mean? I know. No, we're making assumptions. I saw him in Wakanda. It was cool. Look, 
They it's might coming, even... coming out of the hut. Do you remember coming and coming out of the hut? Yeah. And so what? He, you didn't. You didn't think he was all right in that one? No, he was. He was back to normal. He just like he just. What do you expect? What do you expect from look, this? Look, do you expect, remember, 10, out, do you expect as, a ten out of ten? Remember as well, Zemo's back in it as well, isn't it? Yeah. Who? Zemo, the guy um that was controlling Bucky in oh Civil yeah, War. Yeah, yeah he's back in it. And what if he re- what if he remembers the the lines in it from the book and not necessarily having like he might just remember and could he possibly trigger Bucky again? Could that be like the the, the conflict in the in the program. See, see what Mer, Mer, see what Mer's trying to do. Trying oh, to keep well, everyone well. interspected. Well, of course, Mer, it is. Mer, it's speculation, bro. Mer, Mer's trying to keep everyone interested. Like, oh, actually, Merv is actually pretty cool. Well, you know, you yeah, thought about it. Nah, I probably, I probably <laughs> did think about it. That's the thing. <laughs> I think it's gonna be sick. All right, to be honest, I'm here for the trailer, and I think more and more stuff will kind of get out before the series begins. Oh, um, yeah. Kel, I respect the fact that you haven't watched the trailer and you're not going to watch the trailer because that's how I am with most of the MCU films. So, no, I respect it, but I think it's going to be all right. Uh, only time will tell. Mm. Yeah? So that was one of the big reveals of the trailers. Um, I'm not going to lie, because I didn't wake up to watch Super Bowl. I don't remember whatever trailers were out, but that was the main trailer we were going to talk about. There was, there was another one. It's just quickly, in it? I don't know if any of you saw it, the, the Lois and Superman trailer. Oh, my God, of Christ. <laughs> No, I didn't watch it. Oh my God of Christ. The Lord's name in okay. vain. All right. One, All right. one more time and I'm going to mute you. I'm sorry. Oh, I was about to mute you. you know? <laughs> yeah, Merv. just saying, isn't it? No, but no, no, but this, this is Murph's show. This is Murph's show. Take it away. No, you know Listen. what? You okay. know I hate the CW. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, and burn. <laughs> burn and lava, isn't it? Yeah. All of them. I'm proper watching this show. Huh? I'm what? watching it. Why? It's Superman, <laughs> isn't it? I'm watching it. Right here. Yeah. I might I might hate it, but I'm watching it, isn't it? I think I will hate it, but I'm gonna watch it. Uh, uh, do you know what it is, right? Mm. It just it just shows um Disney's <laughs> budget, Disney's budget compared to um the CW. Yeah. yeah, well yeah, CW, I suppose, CW. Yeah. Honestly, it, you can't just watch the the um the winter. Was it was it Falcon and yeah, Winter Soldier? Winter Soldier. Yeah, you yeah. can't you can't watch the trailer then watch this this um Superman trailer. Honestly, it's like why would you do this? It's just like literally, I just don't know what angle CW are coming with. I do not know what angle. No, what you do, man. You no, on, no, we, no, we've, we've watched. I, I'll, tell no, 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 bro, I'll tell you what angle. I'll tell you what angle. They've got no bro. respect for Superman. <laughs> So That's why are you gonna it. watch? Why are you gonna watch it for? No, I have to. I have to. Hear Superman. Um, no, no, we, we will. I'll I've, watch I've got it. a life obligation to watch Superman. Yeah, right. I'll watch it because I've watched all of the other CW programs. Wait. But as far as you can, see, you can see what respect they have. They released Supergirl before they released Superman, so that's it, isn't it? They just Whoa. spoke about Superman. They said the cousin came ages ago and he was in Metropolis. That was it. They so had, you, you they knew had the choice. Respect. I think they were bullied into releasing Superman, and even then, they're still like, oh. Let's just put Lois on it to, to add more oh. insult. But I can't just call it Superman, isn't it? Like series. Honestly, he's got, he's got twins, right? They've got, they've got twins. Yeah, oh, which bro. which look like his younger brothers. <laughs> like the age gap is just This is ridiculous. You ain't old enough to have them twins, bro. I, I just I just don't I just start already. I haven't even gone online to say Superman and Lois, yeah. Oh I know, but as soon as I start typing, it will start saying sluage and disrespect all my actually come down the screen. That's what's going to happen. Honestly. I'm, I'm know, curious to heart like No, of course. Like. We have to watch it to, to, to slew. <laughs> I, I want it. Do you know what? Do you know what our, my, my main objective for this year mm. is to get that show cancelled. Yeah. I'm going to hashtag. Yeah. Every single it's character. Like cancelled, you know. I want to hashtag every single character of that show. <laughs> Man's, man's getting people fired for their jobs, you know? Okay, um, can you make sure that you don't do that from the Fully Geek Pods? Any yeah, of exactly. our socials, exactly. Any cancel, of our socials. Right. <laughs> the views of this was rich and not no one else. All right, well, look, that was a trailer, all right? So that brings us on to... I can't even laugh at it. All right, so a film was released on Netflix last week, Friday, which was the 5th of February which was a film called Malcolm and Marie, which starred John David Washington and Zendaya. What were your thoughts on this programme? I know, Richie, I didn't get a chance to watch it. Kel, Merv? 
Yeah, um, I, I liked, I liked, I liked most of it. I liked most of it. Um, it <laughs> I don't know what the main goal of the film was, to be honest. Obviously, it's, I think it's just a, it's just a show you, um, different sides of arguments, basically, in it, like a, a, a introspective of arguments of how arguments start, how it ends and what the in-betweens and how you, um, it's, it's, it's a, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a film that everyone had their own little psyche on it because it's, it's a mad conflict of man versus woman and like how women feed of emotions and stuff and, you know, and men are more on the logical side of things, do you know what I mean? So it just shows that side of, of, of um, this, this spectrum on, on argument six and stuff like that. But it was, it was really good, it was really well put together, you know what I mean? One thing annoyed me though, I don't know why he wore his shoes the whole time, it was pissing me off, I was like, bruv, it's been, it's been almost two hours, you're still wearing your shoes. Take your shoes off, bruv, you're at home. What's wrong with you? But um, yeah, man, obviously it's ideas. You know, I, I, I saw parts, I had to, I had to Google it's ideas, ages and shit. This She's is, 24. This, I know, I know, but I had to Google it just to, just to make sure that I'm all right. You know what I mean? I had to Google it. You're probably feel like, wrong, innit? You're like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all right looking at this. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm, like, I'm still, I still feel wrong, bro. I was like, this is ridiculous, bro. I just want to say, put a bra on, bro. Like that, it got to that stage. I was like, put a bra on, babes. Like it's yeah. not that, innit? Like, but I mean, they're, 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 sorry, just, they're very good actors, both of them, because like, they're very, very good actors. Because for them, I, I believe the argument. I believe them. Yeah. I believe the whole yeah. situation. So it was really like they're really good actors. So I give them props for that. But yeah. it just got a bit boring after a while. But it was yeah, it was a good film. Was so, good. so hold on, what is it? Wait, about? Wait, no, we're gonna we're gonna get to you, Merv. We're gonna get to yeah. you, Rich. Okay, you're not gonna jump in this. You you don't watch something, and you're the one that speaks the most. Okay, no, so let us know. I'm listen, listen, uh-uh. and then you'll get it. Merv. Carry on. <laughs> Hey, Chale, Chale, please allow no. me. <laughs> Obviously, you guys, you guys know I like my conversation films and programs in it. So this was like, I had no idea what it was about. I, I thought I knew it was just going to be black and white, but yeah, it's just, it's just. I don't, I don't even think it really had necessarily like, yeah, what you're saying, Kyle. Like, what's the purpose of it? I think the purpose was just like, you got a couple that obviously got problems in their relationship. And they had an argument that lasted the whole night, which is just so true to real life, isn't it? Like you could literally oh, yeah, yeah. have people just argue and it's like, you get the, the the quiet parts of the argument and it's like, they're in different rooms, they're just stirring like, no, no, you know when you said about that, yeah? And they just start all over again. Like, and yeah, it was just literally those two actors for that whole film. Like, and they just put 200% into that performance, man. Because, um. Yeah, what's his name? John David Washington. He went in hard, man. Like, yeah, proper. proper. Yeah, like, and it just reminds you of. It's hard. It's hard not to mention Denzel, isn't it? When you're, I know, when you're I know. It. There I was know. a bit. There was a bit where he sounded just like Denzel. I think, he always, Tenet, I think he always. sounds like Tenant. Tenant was Denzel. Yeah, That's why I I think, like, it was just too much. But this film, he was more. He was more different. But yeah. I saw. I saw. I saw hints of Denzel splash. Yeah. yeah. And I read like Zendaya. She's such a. Um, Amazing actor, man. Like she just, like yeah, she she probably commands the screen. Do you know what I mean? Like, but um, yeah. no, nah, it, it and and I guess it it could only be like that runtime because yeah, you couldn't have a film like that for about three, two more than two hours. You'll just start to lose it in it a bit. Mm. No, nah, excellent film, man. All right, not to go against your kind of greatness of the film. You have to, man. You have to objectivity here, isn't it? Bruv, it was so jarring. <laughs> it was jarring. You see what it is? You know, like you just said there, Merv, like mm. an argument that goes on yeah. all night. I'm going to yeah. be real. I'm not that guy. No, yeah? I don't have arguments that last... Yeah. An argument lasts five minutes. Mm. I might not talk to you for ages or whatever. Yeah. We can... That can go... But this back and forth shit... Allow it. I'm long. It's long. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, I was like, guys, get a grip, bruv. Like, and then, I, and then they kept on like, they're almost going to like, forgive each other and start like juicing and beating and then it would I was like you guys you're playing with people's emotions love it love it love it you go sit over there you go sit over there it wasn't it was nicely put together in black and white and all the rest of it um I don't I didn't agree with the their relationship it Zendaya seems a lot younger than John yeah and I think Zendaya's 24 in real life John's yeah. 36 yeah yeah, yeah. 36. yeah. 
But for me, you can see the age difference as a couple. Yeah. You can oh, see blatantly, the age yeah. difference. Blatantly, and yeah. that made it not believable to me. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Because yeah. then they are... And it's not against... I'm not like body not shaming Asian, or yeah. any of that kind of stuff. Yeah. But Zendaya looks like a pick me in, in, in the nicest of terms. Hmm. Yeah. So for me, I'm just like, I don't... Sometimes I don't like when there are people that look young are overly like sexual with their kind of character. So sometimes I'm like, mm, it's a bit, oh, I don't know. Like you said, Kel, can I watch this? Can I not watch this? And she wasn't overly sexual. Like, although when she put her top on and she got the nipples are showing and that I was thinking, I don't know if this adding to it. Cause then I was, for the whole program, now I'm just wondering when they're going to go down. And Will they didn't go down. Please. Like, I'm just like, they're not going down. Okay. All right, cool. But the bit where she, do you know the bit where she was acting like she was mad? Yeah. Mm. Although I knew she was acting, of her acting, yeah? Yeah. Like, I thought, yes, come on. Now it's going to get juicy. Stab him. So, you know, like, I just wanted there to be something more to the film. and that, But there wasn't. Yeah. I thought I thought that happened. I thought, I thought it would be a death or something. I just yeah, I thought there was going to be yeah. something like, where, do you know what I mean? But obviously, that was just her showing that she would have been better with the role. Hmm. And the director, um, Sam Levinson, I believe that some of the stuff was taken from his kind of real life... Um, perspective and things that had happened mm. to him after he had gone to like an award show and the paper article from the journalist and stuff like that but I just felt they were very toxic and I for me as a relationship I for me I didn't know how it was going to work because I felt they were Nate, very Nate, they're very toxic and they imagine imagine you know, your biggest award of your life you don't fake your wife or your girlfriend you know what you're coming home to you know oh yeah no but that's what I'm saying wow. but, I, but I felt like his character he did that on purpose like I almost feel like no, nah, he didn't. He didn't. I don't think. Nah, he did. I, no, because I don't think he did. Bruv, she said you thanked everybody, everybody. Yeah, I know, but, but me, he, he, subconsciously maybe, but I don't think he met, he, he went out to for, to not mention her name. I don't no, think that's he what I'm that. saying. No, that's subconsciously it, maybe yes, like you know what I mean. Because I felt like he did like when she was saying you didn't want to give me the props and stuff like that. It, don't get me wrong, the psyche of the argument was actually really interesting. Mm. Like and their arguments and why they were the way they were, and I think. If you if we could have done like a thesis or a dissertation or actually mm. sit down a conversation about different parts of their argument, as in how relationships work. So I think for that it was amazing. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna lie, I'm glad I didn't watch this with the missus or any of those things. I did, I did. Yeah. That's what when I saw a lot of reviews, they're like, don't watch it, don't watch it with your partner. Just watch it by yourself. <laughs> like you're right, man. You see, I'm saying I'm, this, I'm, I'm glad missing. I didn't watch it. I'm glad I didn't watch it. <laughs> No, it's 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 it's, it's interesting, go. Rich. It's like, interesting. You don't sort of force the arg unnecessary argument. No, my, my <laughs> missus, she 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 just get it gave her more anxiety. She doesn't like it. Was just because they're so intense arguing. Like it gave her anxiety. She was like, it's too much. It's just, it's too much. It was. It was. That's what I'm saying. It was very intense. It was yeah. really intense. Hmm. Yeah. Like, I, I, apart from that, do go and watch the film. Gun support. You know I mean, where where gun support? <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, and actually, to be fair, apparently it was really done like on a budget. It was only like two and a half million US. Yeah, you could tell though. Come on, black and white. I think, I think it was location. done, it was on. written in six days. Yeah. And I, yeah, written in six days. And I think it was about, I think under a week to film or something like that. It's, 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 really? Yeah. yeah. Wait, well, it is two people in one room, right? Yeah. One, one house, house. One house. Yeah, one one, house. yeah, just one house. Yeah. And even that house upset me. I don't like the fact that you, there's no curtains. That was shit. That shit upsets. Hey, in the middle of nowhere. Middle yeah, that, nowhere. that shit upsets me. No curtains, big windows. Yeah, Why is everyone bare. trying to be exhibitionist? It was straight bear coming for you. Then, like, also, <laughs> I, okay, I don't eat. I don't eat cheese, guys. Yeah. But oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I, I, I didn't think that's how you made macaroni cheese. That, no, that no, was. I, um, I didn't think that is that how Americans make macaroni cheese? Is it was it American? Oh, that's what I made for my little one. That's what I made for my little one. Craft macaroni and cheese, isn't it? They said. Yeah, yeah, so is, is, is that like a different macaroni cheese than like what we call macaroni cheese or macaroni yeah, yeah. pie? Yeah. Or what we put in the <laughs> oven, and you cut and you yeah. slice it up. Is that yeah. a different that's, one? That's what I mean for my little one, the cheese. And I, the think that's, I think that's the like standard, like worldwide macaroni and cheese, isn't it? Like, okay, the, the macaroni but cheese I think, that- are I think the way we make it is like, like proper pie and stuff. Okay. Because I was sitting there going, no, that's not macaroni cheese, bro. Like yeah. she's going, and I came in and cooked for you. I was like, no, yeah. you didn't. I want, you want What's that, that, that pirate dish in there as well, bro. Yeah. She just went, sh 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 slapped it on the plate. But even when she was going, and I know you went back for seconds, I was busted up. That, that really, really, really oh, But why well, well, didn't eat so angry as well, well bro? I was busted up, oh. that, that was arguing, just chomping the food. <laughs> <laughs> 
aggressively chomping, you know. I think it's who's got time. You come from a ward thing, yeah. Who's got time to um go to bed in it? <laughs> like, who's got time to argue like that? Oh, yeah, but the soundtrack though. The, yeah, sound track, bro, the soundtrack was big. The, the way soundtrack they made the music big. with the film, I thought it was really, yeah, yeah, yeah. really big. good. Big. Yeah. yeah, no. Um, Rich, you probably ain't gonna watch the film, but it's a decent film. It's a decent film. It'll give me an anxiety. Possibly. Possibly. Nah, I won't watch it. Thank you. No worries. But yeah, that was um that's out on Netflix. Oh, so what would you give that out of 10? I'd give it a strong, a strong seven. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll give it like a nine and a half. You know, if I want to say 10, I'm just going to say nine and a half. Yeah, though, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, But you know, apparently it was Labyrinth that um, put all the music together. Yeah, for the film. yeah. That's oh, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Shout out to Labyrinth, man. I, I, think, I think he works well with Zen, like, because he, he does the music for um, Euphoria as well. Oh, oh is it? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. It is something to, sorry, it's such, a, it's such a good feeling just to hear that, you know, mm. because we don't see him in the public eye, they are still working. Yeah, They're still working. But yeah. in the behind the scenes, fantastic, mm. awesome. Yeah, man. Shout out Labyrinth. Who's Labyrinth's sister again? Do you remember? Oh my god, I can't remember what his sister's name is. Never mind. Oh, Don't worry. Um, his sister's famous as well. Mm. I can't remember. Is it? Yeah, yeah. From Hackney, man. You used to go to Stoke in school. But anyway, that's that's by the by. All right, guys. Kel. Oh shit! Is that time? The oh, fans have been asking for it, bro. Shazam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, guys, it's the final, final. Kel does up perfect planet, man. I think I'm exhausted. All, but yeah, all right, cool. So you know, you know the baddest species are that like they go, they're underrated, bro. The baddest species, bro, ants. Oh come on, bro, bro, they're so underrated, you know. <laughs> Shout out, ant man. Listen, <laughs> ants, bro. Do you know like? Do you know that ants? You know, like, you know, you got like the, the like you got the big ants, the hench ones, the army ones, yeah. Then you got the, the, the workers. Then you got like the and then you, then you got the ones that look after the the, the, the babies in, inside the inside the little colony. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Then you got the ones that look after the queen and stuff. But they're all from the one DNA. Do you understand me? So it's like, it, so they produce like okay, they got a colony, yeah, and, and, and they produce like. A certain amount of army ants, okay. So we need for this colony here, there's what there's about there's 10 million of us, okay. So we need about let's say four million army ants to protect our, our gates, and we need like a certain amount to to look after the, the young ones, and then we need three million work workers. Do you know what I mean? So it's like it's not it's not planned, but it's planned, and it's not what I'm trying to say is there's not like a two army ants getting together to produce army ants. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, it's a, bro, that's some next alien business. I don't think you know, guys understand what I'm saying, bro. There's some next <laughs> rich, like, it's just what I'm trying to say. Like, so the army ants, the workers, the, the queen, all of them, they all got the same DNA. Yeah. They've got the same DNA, but they all got a different structure. So you've got the big ones, the hench ones that are protectors of the workers and protectors, mm-hmm. protectors of the colony. Yeah. But it's the same. It's not those two big, Giant army ants didn't get together, mate, to produce army ants. It was it was just two it was a, it's two normal ants that came together, but they produce. It's like how is that? How they, I don't know. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't how know. Sh- structure that. Like, yeah, you're gonna do this. You're gonna do that. No, but that's how it is. That's how they. That's why they work so well, bro. That's why these ants are done barders, bro. That no one can mess with ants, bro. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody can mess with ants. They're the baddest. They're the baddest, bro. Anyway, listen, yeah, so... Bad. okay. Yeah, so um, I think it's in the Amazon rainforest. Obviously, there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a season where there's pure rain in it. Pure rain. It's comes and floods out um, the rainforest. So there's, there's, there's one army... One, one ant would just be... Because, you know, they have a certain... Ants have a certain trail in it. They have a certain trail that they go to, get their food, come back. Go get their food, come back. Do you know what I mean? So when that trail's messed up, it, it doesn't confuse them. They're like, right, what's going on? Who, who, who left this here? This twig. This twig was here last week. You know, that's a twig, or they'll find another path around the twig in it. So now when when the when the rain starts, when the when the rain starts, yeah, one of the ants will be like, oh shit, the rain's coming. So go back, tell the whole colony that yo, man them. Come on, <laughs> let's start packing, let's start packing straight. And they all start packing, bro. They get all the babies, 
you get a queen, everything, yeah? And the whole place just floods out, yeah? So these ants will start, these ants here, they've got fine hair. So what they normally do, they build a raft. But what do they build a raft out of? Them. They are the raft. <laughs> so you've got like the worker, you've got, bruv, they're sick, bruv. So they've got, they've got, they've got, they've got the worker ants at the bottom, just swimming with their fine hair, just swimming along here. Yeah? And you've got all these other ants, and they move the queen, the queen um, ant in the middle. So she's in the middle. So no one can, no one can touch her in it. Like any, any sort of predator that tries to attack mm. her, she's in the middle. You get me? So obviously now, so so they're floating with a raft that they've built made out of them. Come on, bro. I, I should I should leave now, bro. I should, <laughs> are you nuts? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Bro. That's cold. Yeah. So hear, hear this now. So as they go along, obviously there's predators coming for them, whatever, because they're, they're going along the they're not in their natural habitat no more. You know what I mean? So they can't really defend themselves. And there's a there's a so some fishes come and eat some of them. Yeah? They can't do nothing about that because obviously fishes are that's their territory now, isn't it? But it's some 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 like praying mantis type animal like this. You just see it, and it literally the praying mantis literally does this. <laughs> Wait, no, no word of a lie. Those that can't see me, yeah, like they rubbing it. It's rubbing its hands. Like, hey, hands hey, hey, hey. It's in the time, in the time. Yeah. You get me buffet. Buy one get one free. You get me. And like, what happens is so when 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 it comes closer to this type of praying mantis animal, like insect, sorry. Bro, the, the army ants just come forward, you know what I mean? And 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 they come and they, and, and they, and they sort this they form like a little barrier, a barricade, and just this this start fighting off the, the prey mantis thing. They can't they can't get they can't get they can't get near them at all. Do you know what I mean? And let's say they, they go along and, and one of the one of the eggs fall out by mistake into, into the into the lake or or one of the ants uh, falls off the raft and they try to swim back. But they proper like Proper help, you see it like grabbing the and coming, bro. I don't want, I gotcha. Like, throw up the life rope, phew, pull it in. Okay, it doesn't do that, but it, it grabs the ants and pulls it into the raft. You know what I mean? And then, uh, if there's an egg, it'll go swim, get it, and the egg, put it back, move it back into the middle of the, of the raft. And it'll keep going along the stream for, the, for about three days. There's floating, and then obviously they'll, they'll reach like a plant or something, and they'll, and they'll get off the plant. But on this plant, yeah, it's a massive tarantula that's clutching there, like. Yes, bro. This is my yard. Nah, oh, fam. When these ants come off, it goes, bro. This taps the leg. This taps the leg. The treasure is gone. The spider's gone, bro. Like, nah, I don't want no parts of this. I don't want no parts. It bounces. Really? Can... Yes. So, uh, oh, can, I, can I interject there quickly? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'd just like to say that I agree with what Kel said there. When I was in Ayanapa, like many a days when I used to be yeah. a Raven man, I saw we had a spider. I don't know, we was bored one day. It was on the balcony, yeah? Like, and we saw these ants attack this spider. And the spider was in the middle and the ants surrounded the spider. And then, like, obviously, we're just sitting there watching this for ages. And then the ant, then, like, one of the ants, like, charges and they knock one of the spider's legs. And the spider kind of falls like this, kind of drops. And then all of a sudden, all the other ants start attacking the other legs. About five minutes later... The spider is on its back and the ants are carrying it into the hole, like into their little oh, ant hole. Slow, slow. And then the spider couldn't fit. They broke the spider to yeah. fit him into the hole. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ants are bad boys. They're bad boys. I wish I filmed thing. it. I wish I filmed bro. it to get Kel to direct it. Bro. We would have made yeah. money, bro. So, no, just, how long did that take, Nate? How long was you watching? <laughs> I'm just thinking about it. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. We was there. You know what it was, yeah? Like we like we've been drinking and stuff, innit? Like, we was there for about we was there for about an hour. All of us were sitting no, but the thing is, all of us were just sitting there watching these ants. Yeah. Why does that why does that remind me of that scene in Ghost when the ghosts come and get them like drags them down? Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah, nah. Sorry, go on, Cole. Yeah, yeah, so so these ants will make a, a new home make a new home in it and then when, when the flood goes they all go back to where their original home was and they'll and they'll make they'll redo the house and be like yo guys yeah refurbish the house <laughs> and it was just blessing it but, but no listen as i listen i'm not kidding if i step on the ant i, I apologize but i'm not <laughs> yeah listen I, i'm not on it no more they're 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 treasures man they're treasures um there's another there's another thing where crabs yeah so there's, a, there's an island called Christmas Island. I was like, why do they call this Christmas Island? What's all that about? What is, just, that's, that, is that what Santa Claus lives? What the reindeers are there? What's going on? Do you know what I mean? But there's these crabs that um during during the dry season, because crabs need like um 
moisture, they need moist. So it needs, be, it needs to be moist in the air for, for, for them to breathe in the gills, isn't it? So um, they, 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 they live underground, basically. Not underground, but they dig so that the soil is kind of moist and, then, and it's, they, they hibernate there for the, for the whole dry season, isn't it? So they can, that's how they survive. So that as soon as rain hits, they're like, oh, thank God, you know what I mean? And it all start coming out. It's like, it's like a, bro, I know I keep saying aliens, but it's, it's like some horror, it's like some horror film, bro. It's like, bro, it's like when it's when at Stafford Hill, yeah? They all, they all start coming out, do you know what I mean? All of them, all, all at the same time. And it's like, what the hell is going on? Do you know what I mean? It's like, rah, all these, all these crabs are coming out all at the same time in unison. And like, um, like where are they going? And they all go to the same direction. All go in the same direction. Now, that they are one part of the island and they have to go all the way to the other part of the island. Now, what they're doing is, the reason why, the order of there's millions of them, millions of these crabs, millions. And they're all red, yeah? And like, they all, they all go into like, they have to go to the sea, basically, to lay eggs. But you know, the funny thing is they can't even swim. It's like, I think it's so, why, why did you, I think, God, why did you create these things <laughs> that, that have to lay their eggs in, in water, but they can't swim? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's a myth. But anyway, and, and what they've got to try and do as well is that they have to, when, a, when, a, when a wave comes in, they have to try and lay the eggs so that they'll shake their body like some mad dance. Like, you know, crabs, they're closing the air. And people like <laughs> yeah, dancing, yeah, yeah, they yeah, shake yeah. it, and they, all, the, all the eggs come out. Do you know what I mean? But they have to do it when the tide's up. It's a tide, because if they do it when the tide's not there, the eggs will just land on the floor and, and, mm -hmm. they, and, they, and they'll die in it. So basically, all the old, like millions of these, these crabs are just laying their eggs in the sea in it. And then, <laughs> then when they finish, they have to go all the way back to the other part of the island. Now, now, all these little eggs now hatch in the in the sea. And like there's millions and millions and millions of crabs here. Baby crabs, millions of them. I don't know how they know again. I don't know who told them, but they know basically they have to get to this other part of the island as well before the dry season hits. But if the dry season hits and they're still walking, they'll die in it because the, the air's too dry. Yeah. Um, so they're all like, again, that, I don't know if it's a, uh, a WhatsApp group they got or whatever, but they all know that like, it's, <laughs> it's what we've got to do. Let's march back, you know what I mean? And they all go back to the same location the parents are and they go and cotch in it. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? There's number one, it's a bit boring, but it's bats. Like there's, 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 there's a particular season where bats has come. Mm. Like millions, again, millions of bats mm. just come and they're like, just, just, just come and just cotch. Oh, no, 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 I'm saying because of Batman, no. <laughs> I don't believe because I'm Batman. I'm not. I'm not. Like, it's like it's just mad how nobody knows where these bats come from. I think it's Nam Nam Namibia, but part of Africa. Nobody knows where these bats come from. But it, it's the same time every year. These bats just come and they, and it's just fruits just come and yam all the fruits. And what they do is they spread the the seeds of these fruits across the rainforest. You know, what I mean, so it grows in other parts of the forest. So it's like a it's like a I help you, you help me kind of thing. And it also helps us in, at the end of it because obviously the ecosystem and whatnot. But it's yeah. interesting to see how, like, in return, it gives somehow, some way, it gives back. Do you know what I mean? So, like, that was good, man. It was good. It was good. Check you out, mate. Wow. Big up. Yeah. yeah. That's Perfect Planet, BBC, iPlayer. And that particular episode with the weather, with the ants and stuff, is the weather one. The uh, weather one, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it's Trevor's weather one as well, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's one of the only ones. I, have, I think I haven't watched the weather one and I haven't watched the human one yet. But I will try and watch yeah, that weather yeah. one. I'll try and watch that one before I go to my bed. Yeah, man. Uh, that was, yeah, that was nice. good, man. The world is not what you think it is. Just, let me just say that. Absolutely, man. There's What's so that? much you don't know, man. There's so much you don't know. <laughs> so much, bro. And do you know octopuses, like, they've got, like, 10 brains in their um, tentacles and stuff. Do you know that? I heard about that. That people say octopuses are aliens, bro. I'm not keep saying, it, but honestly, yeah, yeah. like what they could do, is 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 a masterclass. Like the way they could change color and adapt, and they, they can be massive, but they can fit through a gap this small. Do you know what I mean? And bro, they're so intelligent. Have you they, seen? We can put them in a jar. And they, have you seen that one? Yeah, when they, when you're in a jar and they open the yeah, jar. Yeah, they can open the jar from the inside. They're too clever. No, octopuses no. are too clever, bro. Keep that away from me, boy. Yeah, no, I, I yeah. see that one with the octopus inside the jar, and the octopus opens the jar. Yeah, from the inside, it uses yeah. suction on the side, opens the lid, climbs yeah, yeah, yeah. out. You're like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, that's long, bro. 
Kel, imagine, Kel, imagine you're, you're, so, so I was gonna say, Kel's new name is Doctor Doolittle, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro. <laughs> Doctor Doolittle, aka Doctor Strange. Yeah, bro. All right, yeah, nah, people. If you want more from Kel and the Perfect Planet. Or any other animal program that you might have one, just let us know. Yeah, I'm on it. Yeah, let okay. us know, man. All right, Merv. Yo. What have you been watching recently? So recently I've just been watching the fall that came out yeah, 2013 to 2016. Sorry if it's not gonna be as exciting as coming. <laughs> Putting this game right, yeah. Like, like, yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah, but no, um I I've always heard that this has been a good um TV series, isn't it? So I was just curious to watch it and like three seasons and very quick binge as well like i think i've done it in two days like so it's, it was a easy watch man but i i ain't really want to spoil it but it's one of these programs that we've we've kind of watched you know like when we just get so mad when there's police investigations and they're trying to catch a killer and the police just do just make some really dumb decisions or characters make some dumb decisions like i mean that's the only thing that kind of jars me about the whole series that it's like Oh my gosh, this could have ended like probably five episodes ago if you just done this or done that and stuff. But um, no, it's, it's really good, man. It's quite, it's really compelling. It's quite uncomfortable to watch at times as well, like just the content of it. Because basically like the guy is a, yeah, there's a, there's a serial killer. Like he just goes around killing women. Like, but he's, he's got a, he's got a sort of um, a code, like he's, he believes he's doing this because he has to do it sort of thing. Like, you know, he's got his reasons for doing it. And what's what's kind of scary about it is that the guy that plays him, um, he's, what's his name? Jamie Dornan, like the guy that was in um, Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I think he'd done this before Fifty Shades anyway. And you, you it's weird. You just like him as a person, like, because like, he's a family man and stuff like that. And he just looks so... Even though he's doing all these bad things, you just feel like, I don't want you to be a bad person. I just want you to just be good and atone for your mistakes. But he's mm. like, sometimes when you think, I feel a bit sorry for him and he just does something really dark and chilling and you're like, no, nah, this guy needs to to burn. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And, um, and what's the name? Gillian Anderson's like the main character in it as well. Like, Jeez. Yeah. Like, yeah, she's really... Her character's proper different as well. She's very um, what's the word I can say? What's what I should say? She's very empowering around women, but not in a very, not in a like in your face sort of way. Like, so she'll be having conversations with men or women, and then you think to yourself, "All right, that's so true, isn't it? You can't even argue with that." <laughs> like the, the way she just mm-hmm. like how men and women are, or, or how men portray women, and she'll just basically just shut them down in like one or two lines. You're like, you know what? Like, <laughs> like, you, you killed it, didn't it? But um, no, it is, it is really good. If you've got a chance to watch it, it's, like, it's a quick binge. Um, yeah, it's good. What, what is what it on? Netflix? Oh, sorry, it's on Netflix, yeah. Okay. And yeah. it used to be, it was on BBC Two, yeah, I think originally. B- yeah, BBC, yeah, so originally on BBC, but um, no, it was good. It was good, man. Netflix of teeth and everything. Hmm. Trust me, boy, trust me. Yeah, considering that could have been an iPlayer, but yeah, no. Nah. All right, cool. That's the full mm. and there's three seasons, yeah? Yeah, three seasons. Yeah. Three seasons, 17 oh, wow. episodes. Three seasons, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's only 17 yeah, episodes. Yeah, 17. Yeah, so I think the first one is like five, then six, then six, or something like that, yeah. Uh, that's the only idea. Okay. Yeah, even, does that even add up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, would, I wasn't going to let you go out like that. I wasn't going to let you, I mean, yeah, I would yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd have my students go, you don't know your maths. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that Merv though, innit? Who's that Merv? Uh, well, man, they even know to add up though. You get me? So what, so what, sir? Man could be on a podcast. I don't even need know, to know my maths. You know they're doing these, these Instagram adding as well, those adverts, those little things you see as well. Man. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. All right. Um, I'm going to come to you next, Rich. After me, obviously, because you're going to finish the show. Yeah. All right. Um, I haven't got a TV series per se. Um, it was an audio book, all right, that was sent to me by one of my brothers. As you know, I've got a few brothers, but shout out my brother that sent to me. I don't know if you want your name out there. And it was a, it's an audio book called Product of My Environment. And it's by a person called Carlon Campbell Robinson, who is tiny. Oh, that one. Okay. Who they spoke about in Blue Story. 
So okay. you know they spoke in blues, they had like younger, tiny, mad, all the, all mm. the well, they had older Maddo and all the rest of it, but there was Tiny. And Tiny was originally from Deptford. Deptford. Yeah. And it's the audio. S, S, is it SE8 or SE18? Yeah, I, I don't want to get it wrong, guys. Let me, yeah, let me yeah. check. Can, can I do his research? <laughs> I mean, I don't want people to shut us down. But um, his <laughs> audio book. It's a, it's, it's a two-hour audio book, so it's the first one. It's an audio book, and I sent it, and I listened to it on Saturday, Monday, Sunday. And it's a, it's basically, it. if you're from the ends, I guess part of you will probably flock to it more because it talks about characters. Like, all of the names that he talks about are real. So he's talking about people that I knew growing up, yeah? So there are people that he talks about, and he kind of relates. And it's kind of how he... I don't know how he becomes a kind of SC8, yeah. SC8. How he becomes a kind of criminal and what kind of things that he does when he goes into prison, who he kind of comes across in prison, and all those kind of things. Yeah. But the reason I've quite a big up because actually I thought it was actually an interesting story. There are things that are going to come up in the second book, which hasn't been released yet. And I haven't yet shared with Kel the great reveal in the second one. Or me right? or anyone. Okay, well, I'll, I'll send it to the group. To be honest, with you, don't get jealous, Rich, all right? Don't no, worry. But the, the, no, because the thing is, I did hear a bit of it on Instagram because ah, you know, okay, if, cool. if, yeah, if you so, follow some certain pages, they, they'll post some parts of it. And I thought, where are people getting this from? All right, Rich, I'll send you the audio book. To be honest, I didn't know if you'd I'd listen to it. I didn't know. That's literally why I didn't put it in the group. But I'll send it to you. Yeah, it's a two-hour audio book. And I'll just talk about it. In the second book, which hasn't come out yet, he starts talking about um, people like he starts talking about Fox and Fox's was a notorious gangster that um, was killed recently in Hackney so about age of 50 okay but Fox was also um, what's Steph's brother called? Dutchavelli's Dutch manager Dutchavelli's manager <clears throat> okay so there's certain things that he says in this bit that make you think raw. And I don't want to reveal it because I think people, if you want to listen to it, you listen to it. But Kel, I will send it to you this afternoon. I'll send it to you afterwards. And I guarantee you, I'll send it to both of you. I guarantee you that within five minutes of listening to it, you will call me back. Guaranteed. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. But it is an audio book. It is out on YouTube. You can follow some of the beginning episodes as he talks about how like, he's kind of come up. And he also talks about, like, for me, it was just interesting, especially, like, I have cousins and family members that live, grew up in Deptford, yeah? So there are things that they kind of talk about which were very close to home and things that I'd heard about on the growing up. And I'm like, okay, right, that's how it happened and all that kind of stuff, yeah? So I know that I've said some stuff and I haven't said all of it, but there'll be reasons why I haven't said all of it because I don't want to be done for, like, I don't want people to be after me, yeah? But it was a bit of a great reveal. But if you do, if, if some, that is something that you're interested in, Go and find it on YouTube. It's called Products of My Environment. And it's by Carlin Campbell Robinson. Yeah. Tiny, a.k.a. Tiny. A.k.a. Tiny. Like, there were certain bits in the film, like the, his audio book, that I thought was wild. Yeah. So I'll just say it now, so if you can understand it, Kel. The KFC car park, mad. Yeah. If you remember what I'm talking about, you remember what I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, Rich, talk to me. You've been watching a program called oh <clears throat> he ended already sheesh all... yeah no i don't want to get into it too much I don't want to get into too much man don't talk too much okay yeah hi guys hi everybody thanks for tuning in <laughs> you say hi guys and uh, at the end of the show as well you know hi i'm richard um richard maximus just get on with it first of okay. his name <clears throat> anyway um yeah sorry netflix i've been watching a show called the Wink Saga, sorry, the Fate Wink Saga. To be fair, I did. I saw it a couple of weeks ago, and I thought, shall I watch this? And I thought, and I watched the trailer, and I thought, oh, it's English. So I thought, and I thought, okay, a bit of a Harry Potterish kind of concept, dark, uh, magical kind of stuff. So I, so um, started watching the film. I oh, say it's a TV series, a TV series, six episodes, and, and I automatically felt like. Something's missing. It's like when you when you start to watch the the first episode, it's like okay, what's happened before? You don't know what's happened before. Um, so I just quickly googled and I thought the Wink Saga, and it, and it and it come to light. It's actually an animation that you that was on Nickelodeon back in two thousand and fourteen, 
well, from 2004 to 2014. Oh, is it? Yeah, so it's, it is an animation. And I think if you heard, if you heard the theme music, you know it, um, the animation. You, you remember, oh, yeah, I've heard it before somewhere. Mm-hmm. So basically, um, the main character is someone called Bloom. Um, and she's got... Oh, um, you know, I thought it was blue. I thought, I thought it was saying blue for timing on. The colour blue. No, blue. I know. I thought they were calling oh. her blue for time. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically... Um, the, the main thing is about the fairies, right? Whoa. So when obviously when you think about fairies, you think about um, fairies flying around, but that's how it was back in the day. Everything's evolved and everyone moves on, right? So not everyone has, they don't fly anymore. So they don't have the whole wings. concept of wings and wings, et cetera. Yeah. So that's all gone. So forget about that. So there's Bloom. She's like a 16 year old girl. Um, the first entrance of her is she's coming, she's, going into a school, a boarding school of a fairy boarding school. Um, so this is why it kind of gave me the same kind of concept of like the Harry Potter going into a boarding school, learning how to- um, Use your magic. Ha- yeah, use their magic. Um, and there's there's five there's five main friends. Um, Bloom, she's got um, the fire power. She's got a friend who's got light, is a light fairy. Yeah, Stella. Stella, water fairy. Aisha. Aisha. The game. Okay, yeah. Earth. Who's Earth? Flora. Who is? Sorry, that's Thanos. sorry, that's Terra. That's Terra. Okay. Who's Thanos? Who's, who's mind? Is Musa. Musa. There you go. Okay. So and there's a pack of a pack of these girls. They're like a little group together. Um, and Bloom's kind of like Bloom. She's a changeling. So changeling is when a fairy, um, a baby fairy, is taken away from the parents and brought into the human world. Um, and and when you watch episode two, you find out um, the reason why she's coming to the boarding school. Um, she she I think one day she was in rage and she set her house on light and she burnt her mum and or she burnt her mum, um, basically almost killed her. Um, so they realised she's a fairy and she went into the fairy world, and that's where she's trying to understand her powers, and then realising she's a changeling. Um, in episode two, she realizes that she's a changeling. Someone's mentioned it to her, so she goes to investigate. Actually, who are my real parents? Um, so f- throughout throughout one or two of the episodes, you kind of you kind of understand right where she's come from, or her background, and and when they go into the place called the other world, um, they've got the enemies are called the burned ones, and it's basically all black it's people who are burnt, which are literally attacking them, slaughtering them. Literally, when when you first when I think when you first see the first scene of the um, the TV show, you see blood everywhere, and I thought, okay, what have I got? You know, <laughs> what kind of show have I got? I thought it'd be a decent show. So far, so good. Episode three. Um, there's only three more episodes to go. Probably finish it this week, but it's something worth watching. And plus, it's an English English TV show as well. Okay. And and even though Bloom is American, but everyone else is English. Okay, yeah, it's from um, an island. Yeah, a couple of characters are from Hollyoaks, and there was the Asian guys in there. He was in that show where that black guy was the boss, and oh, you know when everyone bullied that guy. Oh, um, sticks and stones. Sticks That's and stones. It, yeah. What, yeah. What's a film? What a, yeah. t- what a, t- what a series? <laughs> yeah, that um, the Asian guy is in there as well, and a couple of guys, a couple of people from another BBC. Which one? Drama. The one you didn't like. Yeah, him. Is he in he's, it? Yeah, he's in it as well. He's in. He, he shows come up in the, I think, third or fourth episode. Okay. Um, and Alton, Alton Abbey, a couple of characters are in there, but I don't know who they are. But, but yeah, it's it's okay. It's worth a watch. If you know the Winks, the, the animation from Nickelodeon, and you want to see an adaptation into kind of a TV kind of TV show, it looks good. It looks okay. Okay. That's on Netflix as well, yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, so Netflix, um, obviously there are other TV programs, different TV p- platforms, but I'll go and check it out. It is about fairies, but our boy Rich says it's worth a watch. Yeah. All right. Well. Nah. Whoa, Rich, you just ended episode 78. Yeah. All right. Hey, people, gang. You know the saying, all right? One up, one down, one love. Gang, 
people have a blessed week and oh make sure you're checking out the shorts the fully geek pod shorts that are on all the platforms they're on youtube yeah. they're on instagram igtv they're not on facebook because rich hasn't posted them yet but they will be <laughs> there soon all right okay um rich <laughs> give us the click and take us out of the episode yeah, if it, if it can't click, just try that in the bin, mate. Can, 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 you, can, you, can, can it click? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, can it click? One second. Come on, come on. <laughs>